Well, that was a mistake on my part. Uh, would you guys like to see the game or should I just have it so you can't see it? Because it's probably better if we can't see it. Why is my, uh... All of these things I set up. <laughs> there it is. New Zealand? Where's Old Zealand? That was the black screen you saw. That was Old Zealand. Now we're on New Zealand. We don't want to see it. I didn't think so. You know, nothing, nothing special going on. I apparently put my gun barrel exactly through the fence there. So yeah, um, a lot has been made about early access and the fact that there was early access, but like we couldn't post content until this morning. So I made a conscious effort to not hunt the crap out of this map. I wanted at least, you know, some of these early streams and all that to have genuine reactions to stuff. So I probably spent four hours on it, maybe. Unlocked a decent bit. Basically haven't touched the west side. And therefore, that's going to be what we do at the very start of this. Let's have a just chatting. We could do that. No problem. Homesick with the flu, but if I get to see a stream, I guess it's worth it. Or you could say... I don't know how to pronounce that. Wath it. Way the Hunter abbreviation. That was a lame joke. Anyway. Old Zealand is in Holland. Is it really? Guess I'll watch the video later that you made because I just saw your stream. No worries. I'm really, I had some pretty cool experiences in that video. The red deer in the thumbnail by far was my favorite thing we encountered. But basically that video is just kind of going over everything, shooting one of all the new species, all that. Hopefully we have good stuff going on here. Um, I don't know how many age cycles I've passed. Maybe two. So mostly just fresh stuff. We're just getting going here. Is this better than Call of the Wild? It's totally, totally down to personal preference. There's a number of people who have quit Call of the Wild in favor of Way the Hunter. But it just depends on what you're looking for in a hunting game experience. If you want like a true to life hunting simulation, I guess to call it that, Way the Hunter is going to be your better choice. But if you just want something to chill, run around, shoot stuff, Call of the Wild is probably a little better suited for that. So it is what? 10, 20 in game? I don't know when Tar drink. That actually might be something worth looking up because we are in Tar territory. That's hard to say. Himalayan Tar, 11 a.m., so pretty soon. We'll just kind of wander, leave the time where it is. Oh. Thought I saw something, but in the meantime, what is that? I don't even know. What's up, Ash Wolf? The map's pretty cool. Um, I love the mountains. I, that is a tar. I said it from, you know, obviously before I got to hunt the map, as soon as the trailer came out, I thought the mountains looked incredible. I still haven't found that waterfall. Maybe that'll be a little bit of what we do today, but I do love it up here. I think Way the Honor has done better mountains maybe than any other game that I've ever played. They just feel more authentic and more realistic. Two star mature. It's not super gray, but we're gonna kill it because like, what else are we gonna do for here? We gotta kill some tar, right? Looks big smoke to me. It's very brown though. That might not be the best choice. I don't know how old they get. We should probably look at that. Kind of surprised he's not dropping yet, but he's not going to go too far. Let me just mark. Never mind. He's going to drop right there. And if we go back to that, they get to 14. They probably got to be at least a three. Wow. <laughs> that was steep. Probably going to be at least a three star mature if you want a chance then. Uh, where to fall? Right there. I'm falling down right now. I can't believe we're not dead. Uh, what map for... What? I'm missing something there. I'm not quite sure what you're asking me. You're a tar? Why, thank you. Definitely think Call of the Wild is more fun, but Way the Hunter is more relaxing? I can see that. It's hard to play Way the Hunter fast-paced because generally, like, you're trying to make assessments all the time. To go back and kind of answer that question a little bit further, Way the Hunter is kind of based on like a genetic system in the sense of you want to manage your herds, you want to remove weak genetics from the herds, that's why we just shot that two-star mature, and in doing that, that'll increase the overall genetic potential of future animals, and therefore give you a better chance of getting trophies. You don't want to just shoot stuff willy-nilly in this game, you do want to like almost selectively shoot things, so like you said, it's more relaxing in the sense of you, you can't just fire away with everything, you gotta chill. 46 mile an hour winds is 46 feet per second. So I don't know what that comes out to, but not quite as insane. Love the massive lodge on this map. Yeah, we gotta walk through that some today on stream because I haven't messed with them much. Even nicked the heart there with a little bit of cavity damage. 
64%. That ain't bad. But obviously they're going to get significantly bigger. I want to look. Where could that waterfall be? It's obviously going to be in the mountains. I kind of feel like it may be down here. I don't see it now. As we unlock stuff, it might be a little bit easier to find, but we'll just start wandering then. Time for a 5-star rare since your luck's been great recently? I thought about that. I don't know. We had the 5-star Melanistic Moose. That was, I think, nine days ago. Two great ones in Call of the Wild since then. I don't know if we had anything crazy in Classic. Some okay kills, nothing like completely insane. There's a chamois, I think. What's up, Flying Buzzard? Oh, what's going on, Jay? Have you bought the map yet? Where did my guns go? I don't know. Um, YouTube is weird sometimes with like canceling memberships. It seems to just do that. Found the waterfall just now. Uh, do I want to ask? I kind of want to know where it is. I almost want to find it myself, but... If you want to try to give me a clue, we will maybe move that direction. Got another herd of tar out there. Is it herd? I guess it'd be herd. I haven't heard. What two great ones did you get? We got our bear a week ago today. And then we got our great one moose live on stream yesterday. What do you think about a Norway map? I think it could be pretty cool. Is uh, Are you familiar with the Hunter Classic at all? I think Hemeldal is Norway. And I do like that map. There's some things I think they could have done better, but I'd be down for it. Bought the special edition, so I should have the map for free? No. You talk, you talk about the special edition of the game? This is, I think, the first map that's separate from that. So the special edition came with... I tried to just... I'm in the process of trying to get a drink. I tried to ID that zone. Anyway. The special edition came with uh, the two base game maps, Nez Perce Valley and Transylvania, and then the two DLC maps, Aurora Shores and Tickamoon Plains. This is the third DLC map that isn't included with the special edition. I know. Hint, it's in the area you're at, but on the border of the map. Oh, gotta be there then, right? Oh wait, no, that wouldn't make sense. Here? I think. Pretty sure that's it. Well, we're not far, so we may have to go in and give it a look. <laughs> yeah, I, they maybe could have phrased it a little bit better, Jay. Uh, Kermit, thank you for the five months. Welcome back. So, uh, you got the great ones. What's the next grind? I think I'm going to take a break from grinding. We may, I, like, I don't think we're going to do anything crazy, but, you know, we may mess around and shoot like a bunch of gators in single player and see if anything special happens for rares there. Who knows? Are there any predators in, are you, in Way the Hunter? Yeah, I mean, there's... Three species of bear, there's wolves. Most of those things won't attack you. They can, but it's really, like, unlikely. If you were asking about on... Oh, hello there. Forest armature. Anyway, if you're asking specifically about New Zealand, there are none, because New Zealand does not have any, uh, any predators in real life. Hey, thank you, Volt. Appreciate that, man. It, it was a wild stream, to say the least. Two star mature, we got that four star, so we need his zone. Because we're coming back here for sure. And again, they only live to 14. If he's a four star, he's probably 12, 13 minimum. He might just die, who knows. But we gotta come back just in case. What do you think about this map? Um, I should preface my answer by saying I haven't played it a ton. There's been a lot of conversation over the last probably week or so about how early access and stuff worked for this map. You've maybe seen it in the discords and stuff. So, creators got early access, but obviously we didn't post any content until today. That was just kind of the way they set it up. Because we couldn't post content till today, I made a conscious effort to not play this map very much because I wanted some of these stream reactions and stuff to be genuine. I don't want to sit here and be like, oh wow, look, a thing that I've already seen before. So, I haven't messed with it much. I love the mountains though. I think the mountains, like, they just, they feel so realistic to me. And that's way the hunter generally, like, their Transylvania mountains, the ones on Aurora Shores, Nez Perce too, like, they're all really good. But I think these may be their best work. There's a ton of them things. And none that are, like, definitely kill that one. Where did that two-star mature go? 
because I kind of thought maybe we'd kill that, but... Right there. Alright. Don't lose track of them. Thought there were wolves in New Zealand in real life? I don't think so. I don't think so. I believe that's one of the reasons that basically anything can thrive there, like, you know, all the different sheep species and deer species and stuff they have there. I think it is because there's no predation. Couldn't make it rip, but it looked great. It was, it was pretty cool. That's, uh, one of my goals always with Great One Grinding has been to get one live on stream, so to finally accomplish that was, was pretty special. Where in the world were you hiding? Two-star adult can't kill that. I'd like to, but that might be something. Need more multi-mounts to call the wild? Totally agree. How much is Matsuriki? I'm going to use a $20 GameStop gift card to get a $20 Steam gift card, but I don't know if I'd want this map, Africa, or Aurora Shores. You can buy the map individually, I believe, for 10 bucks, or you can buy some kind of, like... I should have looked up information on this more, but there's some kind of, like, special pack that's going to be this map, the next unannounced map, and then, like, an out... What do they call it? Outfit pack or something? Yeah. Sounds like maybe they're going to add some camouflages or maybe just, you know, another type of clothing to wear. I'd hope that all the characters can wear, but anyway. It's completely unannounced as for that stuff yet. That, though, is 20 bucks. So... You know, it depends on how interested you are in New Zealand and, and the game as a whole. But yeah, I do think... I do think this map, in that bundle especially, could be worth it. The $10 for a map feels steep to me because we're so used to paying, what is it, 8 bucks in Call of the Wild? But the maps are way bigger. You can just... Once you have all the campsites and stuff, you can move around them so freely. It doesn't make them feel as big. So there's there's some give and take for sure, but... Is 20 enough to get all three? Yes. It is? All three maps? Uh, uh, I bet the 20 is for the two, this map, the next map, and the... Yeah, I, I don't think... Unless you could catch something on sale, I don't think you could get the three DLC maps for 20. The new map is 20, the new map is 10. But there's a, there's a pack... For twenty dollars, that's the new map. This one, I mean, the next map, that's completely unannounced, and some outfit pack. So it's it's basically a discount because obviously the outfit pack is going to cost something too. Maps are ten bucks. Two maps would be twenty plus an outfit. Who knows? Maybe that's worth twenty five that you can get for twenty. It's something in that realm. Um, ba -ba -ba. I wanted to go down here because I think that's the waterfall. So let's turn. Oh, I never. Boy, I lose track of stuff really quick. I never even got that guy's zone. Would have been like... There. It'll be fine. I hope. How long is one year in Way the Hunter? Okay, this can be difficult to explain. One year in Way the Hunter passes when you've passed three in-game days. You also have to play for some unspecified amount of time in those days. Meaning you can't just go to the bed and rest three days, like back to back to back. You have to say play for 15 minutes or something. I don't know what the time is, but it's it's not a crazy amount of time. It's not like you gotta spend an hour a day, but yeah, 15, 20 minutes per day, something like that. Maybe it's an hour total. I don't know. They, they made a point of not saying that because obviously then you can just sort of exploit it. But, um... Yeah, you pass three days, which is, I believe, resting past midnight is the next day. Seems obvious, but in case there's any confusion as to how that works. Did you get a tripod stand? Yeah, I have it. I haven't set it up yet, actually. Let's see if we can spot anything here. Maybe I'll set it up. There should be things going to drink, because it's 11 a.m. Or, yeah, right at 11. So it'd be kind of cool if we could just set it up and launch a really long shot. I brought it, like, I carried it with me all yesterday's video, or, sorry, today's video, recorded yesterday, and I never once set it up. <laughs> I kind of forgot that I had it. Nobody, there's got to be something in view, I'm just not seeing it. This is where I almost feel like the lesser zoom binoculars are better, because I get a better field of view. I see nothing. Well, we'll just keep working towards the waterfall then. I bet there's stuff drinking at the creek too. 
Look at that. Like, I just love the rolling... Rolling hills is the wrong word. Rolling mountains, does that make sense? It just feels like it's endless. Math Pack 2 bot, you gonna be around this afternoon to play with? Uh, maybe. I gotta record after this. Because I gotta do tomorrow's video yet. We'll see. Been already, but lurk while taking beat of my mom's tongue. <laughs> Small male struggle. Sounds good, man. Can a three star mature make five stars? With most species, yes. And there's a couple where it's very rare or impossible, but generally speaking, a three star at least has a shot. Gotta be hiding in the bushes. What is the render distance in this game? It's a little over a kilometer, I think. Or maybe it's about exactly a kilometer flat, but when you're up in the mountains, it can be further. The furthest I've seen anybody post a harvest screen is like 1.1 kilometers. Working on this Nez Perce multi mount, a black bear and a mellow moose, the bear over a dead moose. Are there Alaskan western moose? I don't think there are. What did I just say? Are there melanistic western moose? Alaska moose have the mel. I, boy. I sat on that and I'm like, that's not what I meant to say. <laughs> Content cash. Uh, I think it's like a kilometer or about 1,100 yards. That sounds about right. I'm way more expansive. Why, thank you. Were you a Toby Keith fan? I'm home with COVID, so I've been spending the morning drinking coffee on the couch and binging his tunes. Yeah, I, I actually only just saw that news like probably 45 minutes ago. That sucks. I know he's had he's been battling stomach cancer for a while, but I think he's only 62. Steelers theme team's too good. Dude, if I... If uh, Mel Blunt didn't cost three and a half million coins, <laughs> he'd be a nice addition. Um, Orlando, thank you for the uh, super chat. McDonald's Sprite. I could go for a McDonald's Sprite right now. There's some some tarry lads. So they're probably going to come in here and drink. How flat of ground do we need for the tripod? How do I do this? Uh... Interesting. That's the first time I've set it up. As I understand it, uh, they don't spook things like at any distance. Which might... Might cause some... Weirdness. I don't know if I like that you can just set up a tripod completely silently, but... At the same time... If you want it to be worth your player base carrying them... Making them not spook things kind of makes sense. There's whitetail, there are whitetail. Oh, oh, oh. That's a good one. I never even saw that herd. Four, so is this the same herd then? Or do we have two separate four stars? It could be them, but why would they be here? Because... Eh, they kind of could have run that direction, I guess. I don't remember if there was a one-star adult. The tripods can spook things. I guess we'll have to test it. Alright, uh, I guess we'll... Maybe before we shoot things, I should scan around a little further. I don't know... Not really much more ground we gotta look at, so... Don't mind me, Shadow's just diving around on my lap trying to find a spot to get comfortable. That one in the back's solid. Everything else, not as special. Did I miss anything? Uh, nothing crazy. We've spotted a four-star Himalayan Tara. Got a three-star in this herd now, too. I think we're going to try to blast that one right there. Oh, hi. How nice of you to join us. If they were a new species, I'd probably shoot that. But we will not. Okay, officially this time we're taking a shot. Only got the gun out 17 times. It's the same herd? Okay. Probably a good thing, because I'd lose track of stuff anyway. That'll do. There's tripods in Way the Hunter now. There are indeed. So, I was trying to understand... Do I have 10? No, it must... No, wait, maybe I do. They give you... Okay, that's interesting. You can just carry 10 tripods. 
I'm not gonna complain about it. That gives you ability to like legit set up your map how you want. Instead of having to carry one at a time, I'm just actually surprised. What are you doing? And what are you doing? You're just gonna stand there. I wish there was a new weapon. Yeah, I'm thinking the tripods are kind of like the replacement for a new weapon almost in this DLC, but yeah, a new gun would be nice. I can't lie. <laughs> now Himalayan over there. <laughs> well done. That's better than any dad joke I've made for a while. Hey, JTech, what's going on, man? This or Te Aoroa? I mean, this has Himalayan Taro, which is what I feel like tay has been missing. I gotta hunt this map for a while before I can officially make a determination, because... I think what happened, like Aurora Shores, I love that map. But the problem with it is, you find all of the... Like... High fitness areas, kinda? And then you ignore 60% of the map. I want to see if this map has the same issue before I just declare, like, this is the best New Zealand map in any game, but species-wise, I like this this list better. Map vibe so far. We've only been... Ooh, that was bigger than I thought. We've only been in the mountains for the most part, but I'm, I'm a sucker for the mountains in these games. I just think they do it better than any of the other games. Oh, there's that waterfall. I just love the way they lay everything out. So this is the four-star herd again, or no? Well, I like that they're not hard to find 15 times if you need. Blood is there. I thought he ran up this way. I didn't actually watch. Yeah, he did. Okay. And since we're here, we'll just unlock that uh, tower. How many kills you got in Wave Hunter? Uh, not much over a thousand, I don't think. How do you do that? Almost 2,000. Might hit 2,000 today if we're really here for a while. Wait. Do you have to... Why did that not unlock on the map? First impressions? So far, I really like it. I was saying earlier, um... I made a conscious effort to not hunt this map a ton. So that, like... Our first impressions on stream here today... Are you know, genuine. So hopefully that helps, because what I don't like to do is, you know, hunt a map a ton, and then come out on a stream for like a first hunt type thing, and when I've already seen everything, some of the reactions aren't as good, so hopefully we can just miss some tar here. Alright, you know what, he's gonna die. Hopefully we get to uh, experience some of the stuff we haven't seen yet together, including that waterfall that we're uh, eventually gonna get to when we're done murdering things. What did Map Pack 2 give? Is that the one? I, I don't know. Is that the one with two maps in the outfit thing? I don't know what it's called. Probably glitch? It could be. You know, actually, now that you say that, it is this campsite. I walked through it. It didn't show up. I couldn't fast travel to it. Something happened. I don't remember why. I ended up main menuing. Oh, because I... um. I was trying to rest for that four-star red deer. And when I did, so I like fell through the map or something weird. I don't know what I did. <laughs> but it basically had two of my character icons on screen. Dang, that was 74%. Shouldn't have shot that. Anyway, ultimately, I main menued, came back, and then that campsite showed up. Realistically, we could get more animals on Africa, considering this map has 17 species and it's smaller. How many are on Africa? Gotta be like 14, right? Will the stream go two hours? I wouldn't be surprised if we go over, but we'll see. Just kind of depends. Depends on how we're doing, where things are. I don't know if it was all the time I spent talking in like high-pitched, shocked voice yesterday, but my throat still is a little bit sore from yesterday's stream. I don't know how long we'll, we'll make it. Like 12 in Africa? Oh, it is. But there are also 12 completely unique animals. Right, yeah. I mean, they, they could add more stuff for sure. Africa's pretty populated, though. Like, you don't hunt, hunt Africa and think, like, dang, this map's empty. I get what you're saying. You're talking about more variety of species. But when you add 
more variety, you're inevitably going to have to cut down, like, the populations of some other stuff, which maybe wouldn't be ideal. Have you got any five stars on the new map? None yet, but we do have a four star Himalayan Tar. So hopefully he makes it. We'll try to age him up today. Can you please explain how the call meter works? Sure. Let me grab this guy and we'll do that. And thank you, White Tail Whisper. I appreciate it, man. Ugh. Pain. Don't shoot one star adult tar. Don't be like me. <laughs> God. I don't know if that would have made it. Some species 86% does, some it doesn't. That was a that was a terrible decision on both accounts. Okay, call meter. So we'll use the red deer call as an example. You'll see that little arrow on the left side is just sitting there right now when we call. Now that arrow is going to start moving to the right. If there was a red deer around and if that red deer started to come into the call, he'll start moving in our direction. And he'll do that until that arrow gets right about to the center of that meter. The part where the meter gets a little bit of like a thicker white line, that basically is when you need to call again. There's a really easy trick for it though, assuming you can see the animal that you're calling in, and that is to wait until they stop and look back. They'll stop and then look back at their herd. That's when you need to call a second time. If you're calling in something blind, like from over a hill or in the trees and you can't watch that, you just wait until it's in the middle. So. This would work, it's in the thick part of the white line, but you can just wait till it's basically right in the center. Call again, resets back to the left, move to the right, repeat until you shoot the thing that you're calling in. 85% I think is 5 star for all animals? It's it's species specific for sure, because like whitetail, you'll never get a, a 5 star in the 80s. Mule deer, 88, 89%. Bears, you can get like 82%. It's, uh, with Tar, they get to 14 years old. I feel like that'd be right on the edge. Did you kill a great one, Moose? Yeah, we got one yesterday on stream. It was, it was one of the wildest stream experiences I've ever had. Yes. Going to visit the waterfall. Oh, you're there too? Oh, nice. <laughs> Got a five-star white tail with 88% genetics? Really? I've never seen one below 90. But even still, like, Kodiak bears at 82. You're not going to get a five-star white tail at 82? Usually things that live to a lower maximum age need a higher genetic potential, which kind of makes sense. Spotted it two minutes after I left? Did I really? It was pretty wild, like I watched it back, I didn't realize this. Somebody asked me if I was herd managing, and I said like, eh, you know, I've got some level 2s on the map that I'm not shooting, but... My exact words were something to the effect of, if I am, I'm not killing any diamonds, so I'm not doing it right. And then like, literally four seconds later, I spot a great one. <laughs> so where's the chicken on this map? I hope there is some kind of big easter egg thing. That was like... I forget what we named him too. Was it Mount Cluck or something silly? Um, because of the way that Aurora Shores Early Access worked and they it was kind of borked, we were like some of the only people that got to see Aurora Shores early. Everybody that was in, in that live stream. So everybody getting to see that together, like that was one of, that was one of the coolest Early Access experiences that I remember. What do the genetics do? I can't get the game right now. Okay, so a very dumbed down explanation is genetics determine the size of the animal. So animals have age in this game. Uh, if we, are we close enough to spot this thing? Not quite. But basically there's three different uh, classes of age. And by that I mean animals can be young, adult, or mature. But they are a numerical age in that. So like let's say Animals are classified as young, depending on the species, from something like one to three years old, and then adults for like four to eight, and then mature, say nine to 12. It, it depends on the species, how long they live, all that sort of stuff. This is a two-star mature. Generally, not always, but generally it's a good idea to take out low star rating matures, uh, or shoot them in the guts, whatever, whatever you feel like doing, because they have weak genetics. I don't know if that's gonna kill him, 
Would have been really good if we made like a good shot. Ah, what was that little chook me out there? I think it is gonna get him. I think that's intestines. But anyway, as we slowly kill him, unfortunately. As we uh, take out low genetic potential animals, the offspring of the new animals will be a higher genetic potential. It, it essentially relies on like the average of the area. It's complicated, but it's not. I think it was Mount Cluck, but many other people named it Mount Cluckmore. That's a pretty good one too. Massive difference between the wild born feral pigs. The two things would be the feral pig's tusks are way longer, or can be. A five-star wild boar has meh tusks. A five-star feral pig has almost warthog-like tusks. Not that big, but way bigger. And then the feral pigs are, like, spotted. Or sp splotchy. I don't know what the best word's going to be. Wild boar are more of a solid color. Need spotting scopes. Totally agree. So what do you think of New Zealand so far? I've been enjoying it. We're just running around up here in the mountains. Potentially shot a future 5 star tar, so I'm kind of upset about that. But I can't... We gotta go after Red Deer eventually, but I can't get away from these things. I just... I love the mountains in this game. Some of the best stuff they do. And we had to visit the waterfall. And then make a terrible shot on a chamois. If I do 100 cents... Can't quite see... There we go. Yeah, that's gut blood, so it's it's gonna get him, but... Oh, we went way over there. I just saw blood highlight a mile away. That'll save us some time, at least. What's up, pizza? I was going to watch your video, but unfortunately, I'm streaming right now, so I will watch your video later. Have you ever shot a 22 Magnum? Definitely a fun little plinking round. Haven't tried it on small game yet, but soon. I don't think I have. There are dogs in this game. There are not. Which one is that, Cash and Clip? Is that the newest, like the bundle that comes with this map and then the next unannounced map? As ridiculous as it sounds, I wish you could run while using binos like you can in Call of the Wild. I, I'm kind of with you. That's one of those things where, like, you sacrifice realism for the sake of either convenience or fun. It's just... If you're, like, because there's a hard cap on how far you can spot things 300 yards or meters however it works sometimes I think yards and meters are almost interchangeable in this game the scales are sometimes kind of weird but anyway if you're 315 meters away and you want to have your binos up so you can spot you have to walk that 15 meters until they're in spotting range instead of running it that was a decent tar I don't know how we didn't spot any of those but Maybe we'll work down this creek and then go after Red Deer? A chamois running off. Two-star adult? That ain't bad. Oh, they're back. Hello. One-star young. That's a female. It is nice. They're really easily identifiable with the tars because the males have, like, that big, like, chest fluffy patch. I don't know what that's referred to as, but I'm sure I used the scientific definition there. How do you get permission? Okay, so you can either go to... You're talking about, like, permission for private lands in these games. You can either go to the uh, outposts or cabins in the areas. And there will be, like, a piece of paper on the table inside. That'll lead you to a mission. You'll probably have to do five, ten missions. And then you earn permission that way. Or you can just buy it in the store. There's a, uh, there's a section called, like... It might be called permissions. I, for, I forget the name of it, but you can just buy them 4,500 credits each. Got a stream, but I also got to eat dinner in an hour. The complex life of a pizza. What's your opinion on the 6.5 Creedmoor both in game and in real life? I should say I've never shot a 6.5 Creedmoor in real life. I'm only familiar with like, you know, capabilities of it and stuff, but it's not something I've ever actually used. As far as in-game, I think they kind of... They did a pretty good job of like, stimulating a real-life one. It's got good range, pretty flat shooting, holds energy over long distance. Like, I'm carrying a 6.5 here. 
if we look at, if we use the 100 cents, look in the top right. This is 100 yards away. Hello. <laughs> 100 yards away, we're looking at 3,000 joules. If we then move this to 450 yards away, we lose about 200 joules of energy. It's not bad. Like I said, flat shooting holds that energy because it's a, it's not a super heavy round and stuff. Good for long range, good for medium to large game. Again, like, my real life opinions aren't really going to be very in-depth. So I think they did a good job of making a 6.5. It would make sense in real life. Have you ever shot an elk in real life? I have not, but I hope to one day. Let me see you, goat. Why do you hide in the worst places? Does it do... Do you have pass-throughs in this game that only get single lung? Because you can get pass-throughs in the game where you shoot multiple animals. We killed, I think, three guinea fowl in a line? I do kind of think you're right. I just never pay close enough attention to that stuff. Ah. Didn't look bad. One star adult. One star young. I'd like to... What's going over there? Shammy. I'd like to kill some feral goats today, so maybe... I don't really have anywhere to go. I gotta go back up. Well, if they stop in a decent area, we'll try. Uh, did you ever get to hunt Indiana? That's where I live as well. Yes. Um, unfortunately, we weren't able to... Weren't able to fill a tag. We came really close, literally like a minute into legal light. Had it been five minutes later, like if we could have just seen a little bit better. It was a weird shooter buck. He was super narrow. And therefore it didn't look that big in the dark. And we just didn't move to get into position. It, it was strange. He walked straight across the hill. Like right at our level. Came into like 15 yards. Sig it here. And when he was around 15 yards. He stopped and kind of looked at us. And Aaron said. To, Aaron was the guy I was hunting with. Because he lives there. He said like it's a small one or just a little guy. I forget what he said. And I could see like. I'm going to have to almost draw it here. But I could see. Like, swooping main beams. He was just really narrow, and I said, no, nah, it's bigger than you think. And then, you know, it was staring at us 15 yards away, so what am I going to do? <laughs> it came in over my left shoulder, and he was sitting to my left. So I had to, like, shoot through his elbow to, <laughs> to get a shot anyway. So, had we been able to see him on his way in, I think I'd have gotten him. I really do. But it was a fun experience. Actually, it was mostly fun. I got vertigo, and I was dizzy for three days. That part was not fun. Can you hunt some Sika and Sambar in the Rainforest part? Uh, you'll have to tell me, where's the Rainforest part? Because I actually don't know where that is. What's up, Colin? Do you think the Steelers will go after a QB this offseason? I think they'll look to sign a backup. I don't think they'll look to sign, like, a new starter. Unless, you know, free... Things happen. Randomly, Tom Brady was available for the Bucks to sign years back. I don't think anything like that is going to happen, but unless there's some kind of can't pass it up opportunity, I, I think they'll look to sign a veteran backup. Tannehill to the Steelers? Does he want to be a backup? It looked like he did okay with Levis. I don't know, I just thought this map had that. Maybe it does. If, if it does, I don't know. I did see that, Ethan. Yeah, he said he'd only play for Mike Tomlin. Alright. Forget about Sika Deer that are hiding. Let's go. I want to, like, hunt this creek, but you can't see it. very much in a really hard spot to see. I say... Maybe we'll go to this pond just because it's close to the campsite and then we can try some other areas. Dear Nightbot, I'm going to slap you. Kirk O'Chains, I just don't think they'll do it. I, I love Kirk Cousins. I'd be thrilled if he became a Steeler, but I don't see it happening. Still sounds like a great experience over here. I know our public land is pretty iffy, but good luck uh, if you make it over here again. We'll see if I can go this year because we're getting married like the next month. So that might be a little much, but hopefully 
you know, it can become a, a thing in the future. I don't know how I feel, like, I know Rocky Mountain Elk are in New Zealand, I just don't know how I feel about them being on this map, it just feels weird. Uh, just got here what I miss? Nothing too crazy, we do have a four-star Himalayan tar that we're going to be keeping track of today. We're just kind of moving through the mountains, pretty soon we're going to go and start to get after some red deer because they are the focal point, but I just get addicted to these mountains. Are you guys actually getting married on 12-12-24? Yeah, that, that's a real thing. So these goats are completely different than all the other goats we've seen. Like, they don't have the black markings. I feel like that one needs to die, but... Is there a pass through those rocks? They're gonna chill up there. That one's kind of white. Alright, we're probably gonna have to go out and around, but I want one. We gotta get one. Imagine getting married. Hello there. Hello there, entire... Uh, colony? What are rabbits? Like, groups of rabbits called. Uh, opinion on silencers for the game. Would it be fun night hunting piggies with silencers? I think silencers in... Any hunter game should just be, like... Cosmetics the wrong word, but basically have a cosmetic effect in that it doesn't change anything game-wise, but it makes the gun uh, quieter to our ears. A flock of rabbits? Yes. Uh, advice for diamonds on Call of the Wild? You just looking to get a diamond, or what kind of... What kind of hunt are you looking to do? Them weird Bugs Bunnies? I don't remember that being in my, uh... Zoology class. Zoology animals? I don't know. Uh, I'm trying to find where Ethan's question is. I, I think what Wanted's saying is correct. I have two young Melomulies in this herd. One comes into low fitness calls. Does that mean the other has better genetics? In theory, yes. My experience, though, do, do they come all the way into the calls? The reason I'm asking that, it seems like only mature animals respond to calls right now anyway. Bug, or maybe intentional design, I don't know. It didn't used to work like that. I'll have young animals respond to calls partway, and then just go back. So, I, I don't know for sure how much you should read into that. Put a tripod on the hill, that's a good idea. A fluffle. <laughs> what are the new animals on this map? I think there's seven. It'll be easiest if I go and read their list. Uh, there we go. New species. European rabbit. Feral goat. Feral pig. Himalayan tar. Red deer. Obviously the New Zealand variants with the much bigger antlers. Sambar deer. And Sika deer. There are 17 animals or species total, but those are the actual new ones. It feels so futuristic, watching it like spawn in like that. Okay, that's a pretty weak genetic one star doll. Look at the, like, furs though. That one's different, that one's different, so he's got a lighter forehead. This one's got, like, the white and uh, brown markings. They all look like... There's not one in here that looks exactly like the other. That's impressive. I'm not saying you're never going to see two feral goats that look alike, because obviously at some point you are. But the fact that none of these are exactly the same, to me, that, it, that at least gives some uh, replayability to goat hunting. Dead. Oi. I wonder if that was that mature. He looked a little bit like the adult. Do I leave this here? Sit in a spot that makes any sense? Not particularly. 
I think we'll take it down. Skill issue. Real. How can you tell if a feral goat has weak genetics? So what I was looking at right there, and I'll show you in the harvest screen, uneven horns. And not like, you know, one horn curls up a little bit more than the other. His right horn is way shorter than his left. The one comes almost all the way, but stops like 40 yards. The other one doesn't care whatsoever. Maybe Mule Deer, like the youngs, do respond to calls. I, when I had my Melanistic Mule Deer, he would not until he was a mature. Yep, wrong button. Yeah, 10%. <laughs> Pretty weak, but like, let me spin this guy around. Completely wonky, like not at all even horns. That was, that was what I saw that made it very clear he needed to take it out. What's up, Mel? So what do you do with solo male chamois in this game? I mean, if, you know, if it's a one-star mature or something, obviously I'll shoot it, but if it looks like it has any potential, normally I try to leave it. Did we make it to that pond? We made it almost all the way there, and then I think I got distracted. Hello. These things are everywhere. Like, I'm so used to up in the mountains, you, you shoot one herd of something, and then you maybe don't see anything for a while. You gotta be very cognizant around here. Like, there's just, there's herds of stuff literally everywhere. What do you think if they would add competitions like in the Hunter Classic? I think it'd be tough with uh, standardized scoring for competitions to make much sense. It, like, it would add a degree of competitiveness and stuff for sure. But I think the reason Classic works is the non-standardized scoring. Two-star mature. Are these the same ones that we just shot from? They may be. Then over here, got a whole bunch of tar again. We've seen like at least a hundred of these things. Don't think any of those are at all special. And then what? There had been a one-star adult chamois there. A random adult tar. We might be able to get that. It depends. I'm going to take the two-star mature goat because I want to see what it looks like. Is it rare to have two mellows in the same herd? It's pretty rare, but it does seem like people get that to happen, like, with some regularity. More of these things spooked than I thought. All right. We will take our one, then. Tar thinks he's a chamois. <laughs> what is blood doing over there? Do you think Jacksepticeye should come back to the Hunter Call of the Wild slash Classic? I mean, probably good for the game to get more eyes on it, right? But with he hasn't touched Classic in probably since I was in high school, I think. What, what I remember was he did like one video per map, so he had like maybe 10 videos on Classic. Call of the Wild, I, I think he only played it like twice. Have you found Sika yet? Yeah, we. Uh, I only shot like one in today's video, but I have seen a couple. Made a mistake of taking a lone wild boar on this map. He had 80 plus genetics. It's tough to tell sometimes with them. Like, it's almost just a hope. If you're shooting, say, a one-star adult or something like that, there's nothing to look at to be like, oh yeah, that guy's weak genetics for sure. Completely different look and then our last one. Looks like he's kind of uneven. Yeah, 56%. Not too bad. I like these guys, though. I think they got good models. Not bad at all. All right, I think it's ready your time. It also means we're going to rest. Um, I think we're going to be okay. That tar shouldn't age just yet. Two monistic moose in the same herd, I'm thinking that is. There's our two-star red deer from today, and yes, that is indeed a two-star. <laughs> they get gigantic if you haven't messed with this map yet. What's up, Eli? Map's good. We're, uh, we're killing all kinds of stuff. We shot a bunch of chamois and tar and feral goats. Just having a grand old time. But if you're interested in the red deer and how massive they get, now is the time. Hunting turkeys this spring? Yeah, it looks like I'm going to be hunting at least two different states. Maybe that means twice the odds of killing a turkey, which is still 0%, but, you know. So I don't know where all red deer are. Like, I know for sure they're down here, and I guess therefore we'll start here. There's Sika deer and Sandbar in this area, too. This early access? Now the map's out now. 
out now. I didn't see any red deer zones like along the shore. Let's walk up this creek though. Because I don't want to just bounce around and go to three spots. I want to find new herds today. Especially like at the beginning like this. I'm thinking of... Tickamoon Plains, for instance. We had a five-star wildebeest, I think. I don't think I had aged at all. I'm pretty sure it was like the first or second day we hunted. I don't want to just age the like three things I've found and miss out on a bunch of five stars. I want to move around here some. Back in time for turkey talk? Hey. I know that guy. I think he's supposed to come turkey hunting one of those states I was talking about. I bought the season pass version of Way Hunter. Do I get the map for free? Uh, this map is not part of the season pass. The season pass was the first two maps. And did it come with the weapon DLC? I can't remember. Uh, there's like a map bundle two, somebody map pack two. Somebody said what it was called earlier. That has there's some sick deer. That has this map, the next unannounced map, and an outfit pack. Which I'm actually really excited for that. I didn't think they'd ever do outfits, but I hopefully as I like camouflage, but. I think that's gonna be good. Does anything call the Seeker Deer? I can't remember if I have, what am I even doing? I can't remember if I have a, a color that works for them. Red Deer, oh, Seeker Deer, nice. I'm out of there. Huh, well, doesn't that make sense? I didn't see it listed when I looked. I didn't even realize that it worked. Two Star Mature, okay. Well, if you're low fitness, we don't have to call you all the way in. We'll just blast you. When coming down to this cabin, I found a bunch of wild boar. There are areas on this map that are loaded with pigs. Uh, feral pigs and wild boar, like, literally everywhere. I There's nothing like it on Transylvania for boars. And obviously, feral pigs aren't on any other maps. But I don't think there's any wild boar, or sorry, warthog spots on Tickamoon like this either. Like, th some of these places are insane for pigs. To fish and film for legal reasons. Oh, you're right. That is very true. <laughs> Somebody had asked about collars, by the way, in that meter earlier. If you saw him right when I shot him in the head, he was looking back to the herd, it would have been time to call again. I should have waited and done that, but I forgot. Congrats on the great one moose from yesterday's stream. Thank you, man. Ah! Get away from me. Watch that be a 99. That was a good thing. <laughs> I feel like high genetic animals charge me more than I want to. Does, hinds, cows, almost like albino with, it, with that light. What is a Sika deer female called? I always call them does, but it's Sika stags, I think, technically, right? Sika deer can go aggressive. Almost anything can. I don't think, like, rabbits and stuff do, but... Like, almost every deer species can go aggressive. I do wish there were, like, some darker fur variants for these guys, but not bad. 46 percenter, two-star mature. I have yet to see a big one of these. That's the biggest one we've seen. I'm curious how big the frames are going to get. Stag and hide, okay. The screeching demon bunnies from Classic all over again. It's funny how, like, everything else, werewolves, the pigs, um... I'm trying... I'm going back to bush rangers. The... What was the other... Oh, the goats that would charge. And then on settlers they had... Obviously bunnies. There's, there was one other charging thing, I thought. Well, anyway. <laughs> Speaking of screeching. Um, but yeah, you're you're happy to hear those things. Like, alright, now we're going to kill some. When it's the rabbit, it's like, oh my god, go away. <laughs> Don't touch me. You found an albino shammy already? Level one. Kyla's playing Call of the Wild, everybody. <laughs> Whatever this 
Do you do any 3D bow shoots for the fun of it? I should, but I don't. I've done some stuff like that, like, years ago, but I haven't in a long time. Bears? Bears didn't charge, though. They were very creepy and skinless. Er, yeah, skinless. So the tripods are free? It looks like you get 10 for free. Maybe I'll set this up since we're calling this thing in. We're trying to. I actually, <laughs> considering I can't see, it might not be coming in. I think you get 10 for free and then you can buy another set. In-game. Sandbar deer. Uh, they don't respond to this, right? Obviously not going to respond to a pig call. See if anybody says hi. Any new rares? A uh, fallow deer, right, Melanistics? You can only put 10 on a map. That is good to know. Is there any color for Sandbar? If there is, I didn't see it. There are boar down there. I kind of feel like we would have gotten a response out of that Zika by now if it was actually coming in. I'll wait one more, because the Crash of the Hill is about 150. The call was, what, maybe 250? The Risen you were looking to? Yeah, fair enough. Ooh. Yeah, he might be coming in. <laughs> they make some insane sounds. You'd question what's happening to that Sika Deer. They make the darndest noises that they do. I've hunted where I assume this part of the map is based off in real life. That's really cool. I need one more call out of you. So I'm certain you're coming in and then we'll just sit here. Because if we... Yeah, we did kill... Like a tar and a chamois out of the tripod earlier? Sounds like a horror movie? It is kind of approaching that, I'm not gonna lie. Yellow Dono. I don't know why the super chats are so late, like, actually coming through the alert system anymore. I like to wait, though, because then they're on screen at least. You're a chamois? Thank you. I really appreciate that. There it is. Uh, yes, it's Squirrel. Thank you for the super chat. Super excited to see what you accomplish on the new map. Today's video was great. Stay blessed. All love from PA and... Is that Washington? Navy? I'm kind of dumb. I think it's Washington. Well, thank you, man. Not only for the super chat, but for your service as well. Appreciate you. And uh, hopefully we can get some good stuff going on. I'm thinking that thing's not coming in, so maybe we'll be on the move. How do I... There we go. Wait. Maybe it is. If it is, it's ungodly slow, though. Yeah, you know what? I'd rather just find my way over there. So why can't... I, I don't know if it's stuck here now. There we go. Alright. We're almost going to have to, like, go down and around. Uh, Washington, alright. I still have a little bit of, whatever, grade school geography skills left. Is that even geography? It's not. Memorization? Uh, Peter, thank you for subscribing. Welcome, welcome. What all new equipment? Equipment-wise, I think it's just the tripod. Got Coley with the subscription as well. Welcome, welcome. Sandbar up there. Got a little boar zone. Speaking of boars. Five star radio this stream, I'm calling it. I, I will... I'll kind of freak out a little bit if we find one. We got good at kill, killing them on Transylvania on stream. We just sort of run into them by accident a lot. Rarely are we hunting red deer when we kill five star red deer. I have a challenge for you to find the worst rated hunting game on Steam then get the game and live stream it for at least two hours. 
How do you, can you search by rating on Steam? I was home on leave for rifle season, skipped the holidays and got my two weeks of rifle in. Very successful season. That's good to hear. I had struggles with rifle season this year. I mean, I was able to take two does, but I mean, I just couldn't find a buck to save my life. I think I saw one legal buck and it was like the most barely legal six point ever. To be honest, first time I've actually seen the tripod, it looks nice. They're tall, like, they give you a huge vantage point. We'll take that zone, that stick of deer. I think we probably spooked them, but just hanging out in such a weird spot. Oh, looks like it was just that guy. He's not huge, so we didn't miss out on much. Well, I guess we're wandering now. Uh, Mr. Doe on the last day of the season here in Ontario. As my dad always says, there's a lot more room around them to hit than on them. There's a bunch of feral pigs. Got that creek right there, so if there are any red deer around, maybe we get eyes on them? Just got here, does the tripod make a lot of noise when deploying it? It seems like you can set it up at almost any distance and not spook stuff. We'll test that as we go today. If we can get super close to something, I want to set up the tripod and see if it spooks it. It's got to be one of those things where I don't care, though, if it does. Because obviously, you know, I don't want to spook something I'm spending the time to stock into or call in. Couple of one-star adults. Um, let's see if we can smoke that one. 280, I think it was. Oh, of course. Just take away my shot. Well, that was the other one star adult, and he has also turned away. That's great. What are the odds that all these ones with one spot are one spot, uh, one star adults? Because it's kind of feeling that way. That looks not pink. That's pink. Well, not quite how you draw it up, but he'll die. Are they persistent? I believe so. Me and my buddies over two weeks saw a total of about 70 deer under the huge property in Foree that opened up to public on Monday after the first day and it was loaded. I never count over the course of the season. I used to, but I don't anymore. I'm trying to think. I maybe saw close to 70 deer. I'd say it was less than that, but, you know, in that area. Just all does. Does and fawns. Would you rather archery or rifle hunt? I mean, my preference is always to archery hunt, but... I, uh, I never turned down an opportunity to pick up a rifle. It's... The way I look at it is... I'm not a bow hunter, I'm not a gun hunter, I'm a deer hunter. So whatever season it is, I'm 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 using that. Mel was saying all the five-star ghosts had the exact same fur. I hope it doesn't work that way, but maybe maybe that is actually how they how they do it. What did I miss? Um mostly mountain exploration to this point. Shot a good number of tar, chamois, feral goat. Um, we have a four-star tar that we're going to go back and hopefully uh, take a look at. Got to pass a couple days and see if we can get an age cycle to go on. But we're in the process of going to try to find some red deer. And then we're getting distracted by 12 other things because, you know, <laughs> that's just what happens. I marked that uh, pig and then I guess like I accidentally moved the marker and now I don't know where he was. I thought he was on this hill. Bunch of burbs. Unspecial burb, best I can tell. I'm not like super bothered about that feral pig, but I would have liked it. Oh, there we go. How did I get off by that much? Yikes. 
saw three deer shot at one raccoon. Nice. Uh, I've been waiting 14 years now to harvest my first buck with my compound, and my target buck survived from last year. Fingers crossed for an opportunity. He was 130s, 140s last year. Dang, hopefully he gets even bigger, man. There was one around here that I think was in that 140 range that I haven't... I mean, we haven't seen him, I don't think, since archery season, so I'm hoping he made it through. Bucks around here, they seem to have a, have a way of getting by, so... Did I just see a guinea fowl? You did. You did indeed. Your cat plays fetch, but your dog doesn't? Shadow thinks she's a cat sometimes. I think some animals just... They do whatever they want. Do you have a flintlock? Yes. We were going to do a flintlock hunt a couple of weeks ago when Aaron was here when we did our rabbit hunt. But the weather was really not super kind to us, and we just kind of decided to focus on rabbits instead. Which worked out. We ended up getting, I think, three on film. The way this is looking, I don't think it was a great vital hit. <laughs> Considering he's still not in sight. On a scale of yes to no, how maybe did you feel tomorrow? Uh, definitely no. Very, feel very strongly no on that one. Then I got here in Washington and got a decent black dog. Oh, that's cool. Are they hard to hunt? Like, as I understand it, they're really, like, I guess scarce? Is that the right word? What'd you get? Oh, no. Did you run it over? Oh, I was looking at the hunt rating and have his, there's no stars there. What'd you shoot it with? Oh, that explains the hunt rating then. Why is there a random... There's just whitetail out here chilling with these fallow. I thought it was a new mellow. Kind of cool though, like a field of deers. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Still going. When he'll die, nobody knows. Oh, he's right there. Am I wrong? Is there no red deer fighting mount for New Zealand? Uh, I wouldn't be surprised because imagine trying to set that up with all the tines and stuff. The odds that everything's going to clip through would be pretty high. Alright, well we ended up not at all where I was trying to go. Uh, let's go check some ponds. See if there's some stags around there. How's the map compared to the other maps? I am concerned that it might be a little small. I'll tell you that, because like if you zoom out on this, it feels Aurora Shores sized, which I think they did say it's about that size. To me, Aurora, like the fatal flaw with Aurora Shores is there's like six good spots and a bunch of mess spots. The reason that I think Nez Perce and Transylvania can be so good is there's like 30 good spots. I haven't hunted this map enough to know where any good spots are, but I'm hoping there's on a small map, it obviously can't be too many good spots or you're going to get nothing but five stars. I'm hoping there's a, a good balance of good spots versus mass spots, though. Because what you don't want is when you're stuck, like, only killing time to age things. You want to be able to actually hunt. I do feel like on, uh, on Nez Perce, even if I'm aging things, I'm going out and hunting other areas while I'm trying to age them. On Aurora Shores at the end with the Melanistic Moose, I was like, well, I've seen all my things, basically. So I just gotta waste time until I can age. Hunted six days straight and walked over 30 miles glass and moving through thick stuff since they're so hard to see and it sucks. It's a rainforest. Yeah, that's what I thought. I'm, I'm thinking of, but it was, I think it's Sitka Blacktail. Not, uh, are they Colombian out there? I'm thinking of a Steve Rinella hunt though from Meat Eater that was very similar to what you're talking about. Transylvania offers something more difficulty and challenge compared to the other maps from what people have said. It does and it doesn't. Like I do agree with that. Once you learn it though, it's not hard to hunt. You can actually be really successful and get a lot of animals on that map. I'm not saying like it's too easy by any stretch. Um, 
it's just thicker brush, so you gotta take your time to learn it. Once you explore it and find where zones are and know where to expect animals to be, it's like any other map. We'll see pizza. Oh, we're in, oh my god, we're an hour and ten minutes in? I was sitting here thinking like, dang, I'm going through this Mountain Dew really fast, but that's because time's flying. So I want a new map. Um, I'll probably go for over two hours. I may have to get another drink at some point, but other than that, she's gonna spike it with moonshine. How's the landscapes though? I love the landscapes. Like these rolling hills in the lowlands, the mountains are fantastic. Um, environment wise, I guess that's the best word for it. It is up there with my favorite. I think the, the mountains of Transylvania and then otherwise like the lowlands of Nez Perce, they're my two favorite areas to be. They just feel super authentic to me. This has that authentic feel. Like, to me, Ticket Moon Plains doesn't have the most authentic Africa feel. Not that I've ever been there, but, you know, I've never hunted in Transylvania either, and I still love the mountains. I, I don't know what it is about Transylvania. It's, there's, sorry, about Ticket Moon Plains. There's just, something's off to me. This map doesn't give me that. Only if it's apple pie moonshine. Unfortunately, I drank all that. Well, we did. It wasn't, like, very strong stuff. My brother made us... All the groomsmen in his wedding, he made some kind of apple pie moonshine. It was very good, just wasn't, like, super potent. Bunnies! Oh, these are the new ones. No males? Well, how am I supposed to manage my 12 rabbits on this map if I don't have any males? And now we have a bunny zone, anyway. To you, yes. To me, it's just like Africa. I just, I just think Verhunga is more like Africa than, again, I've never been there. So I guess what I mean is, I like, you can see too far, which I know, like, you can see really far in Africa in real life. Maybe it is just simply the render distance of Call of the Wild that cuts that down, but I, I think being able to see as much as you can actually kind of hurts the experience. I guess what I'm getting at is, it can be so clear, that's a, that, that's a promising young one, it can be so clear from a distance, you know, if a kudu's decent, if a cape buffalo's decent, you don't have to get close to spot anything, so you can be in a spot and see a, you know, half a kilometer in every direction, and you're just like, well none of these things I can see, and I can see half the world, is worth going after, so may, maybe that's more what I mean, the hunting experience is better, it might not be the authentic landscape or anything. It's a floater. The only reason we got him is because he ended up in the water. Hello, sir. Oops. <laughs> good thing that wasn't much higher because that was a good one. I gotta quit just burning stuff. I can't help it. The amount of, like, good genetic things I shoot on stream compared to when I'm not streaming. It's I, all the years of playing Classic and Call of Duty, I guess. It's such, like, muscle memory for me to be like, thing, shoot it, make content. Lunch break time, nice. I think Ticket Moon Plains is too bland, I guess would be the word, but from what I've seen, I like the Madariki Park open fields and stuff. It is, but that is, that's a good point. Because what I was saying about being able to see so far, I, I love the mountains where I can see really far. Maybe it's because like Shami and Tar and some of these things, you gotta get close to really identify if they're quality or not. Ticket Moon just seems to lack the brushy places. There are some, but it's... Other than, uh... Like the east side of the map for black wildebeest and warthogs. Most of it's not worth hunting. Last time I ordered merch was years ago and it was a mouse pad. Can I have to get something? I didn't even know. Was that from, like, Teespring? I don't even know if I still have those available. I never knew any of the mouse pads sold. I don't even have my own. I should have gotten one. We should look into expanding that stuff, to be honest. Yeah, it's it's one of those things where, like, you gotta just sit down and design it. Because I, I don't want to sell things that I wouldn't be proud of. Like, you know, slapping my logo on something and calling it a day. Like, I wanted to actually design stuff, which is why I just haven't done anything with all the uh, options there. These are the hairs. 
two-star adult. I mean, not like I'm ever going to see that one again, but that's good. All right, we're almost up to where all the big red deer were, so maybe we'll actually get to see some. Not going to lie, I have no idea where that could be today. I think, especially if you've moved or anything, and it sounds like you maybe have in that time frame, something like that could end up anywhere. When the vibe's off, the vibe's off, and words can't always convey that. It's probably about as well as you can put that with, with Ticket Moon. It, I have, and like, it's not just this game. I've said it for like, Teo Roe and Call of the Wild. Um, Quattro Kalina's even in Call of the Wild. There's just, I don't know what it is, but there's just something. It's missing something. What, oh, I thought you were asking what are the Nez Perce species. What are the new species? Alright, I will read them off the list again because it's just simpler. That way I don't miss anything. Oh, did he? There's not that many. I can read them. Okay, European Rabbit. Feral Goat. Feral Pig. Himalayan Tar. Sika Deer, Sandbar Deer, and then Red Deer are new because they're the New Zealand variants that have way bigger antlers. See, that doesn't even work. Oh, there it is. That's all the species, all 17. Under my bed at my parents' house. Doesn't help now I'm 3,000 miles away and I think I'm going to get a t-shirt because I did just order a hoodie from True Hunter. Oh, nice. Have you ever seen anything about the something mod? Basically, most games made in Unreal Engine can be made to work in VR. Oh, I didn't know that. I have never even heard of such a thing. Actually depressing what they did to SRP? Uh, how so? Do you think... Where did that go? Do you think... They put too much on this map? Elk and Whitetail? Uh... Yes and no. I, I could do without the Elk and Whitetail. I get why they're here. Because if you just had endless herds of... You know... Slap, Tar, and Seek Deer, or whatever in the places where the whitetail and elk are, it almost gets to be too often you encounter those things. I would rather it be some other kind of species, but I'd, I'm not familiar enough with what's in New Zealand to know if there could be other things that make any sense. Did the Great One spawn? We killed our Great One Moose live on stream yesterday. Been wanting to kill a Great One live since the, I mean, honestly, since the very beginning. So to finally do that was pretty cool. These aren't the wisest creatures out there. Too bad you can't just catch one. I would have blasted one, but we're close enough to this pond. I want to check and see if there's any red deer. I've bulked up too much now, so all my merchandise lane shirts no longer fit. They're just, uh... They're, they're a size small, so you can show off the guns. Easy. Notice small game away hunter aren't that smart? Yeah, they're... The small game of waterfowl in this game needs an update. Because that's that's kind of the other, I guess, issue with adding more species to a map like this. The Adding small game is almost pointless because nobody, nobody really cares. Like, do you want to go and hunt ducks that you don't hunt like how ducks are actually hunted? Not really. At least I don't. They're supposed... What's that? Oh, nice. Where's that at? Ooh, I haven't been over there yet. Maybe we'll go there in a little bit. If the angler had a trophy lodge or aquarium, would you play it? Or play it more? Um, I don't know if that would change how much I play it. Maybe. So that guy, I don't know about him. He was a two-star adult. He's now a two-star mature. I'm too afraid to shoot him. And I already know, because I shot that 83% or whatever, that I can't just be yeeting shot stuff. Like, that one... I think we can kill that one. I think. He's an older adult. You compare it to this guy. He's much browner. He's not as uneven as he looks, but he is uneven. 
I do these experiments so you don't have to. And because I like to shoot things. Audio issues? I hope not. Oh, what the heck? My desktop audio is super quiet. Maybe the game's gonna be louder now. I don't know when that got turned down. I doubt that was what you were talking about, but that is a thing. <laughs> gonna get Schuster in black. I'm 5'8", short for 20. Hey, I'm 5'8 and a half, maybe. It's because Tikamoon is the Karoo and Brahunga is the Savannah. 68%, good. I actually don't know what... Did he get bigger? Because that was supposed to be a two-star mature as well, but that looks bigger than I remember. With the tribots, I hope we get the addition of ground and water blinds with tree stands. Blinds would be cool. Tree stands, if you set them up in the right areas, I think would be good. I'm not sure, like, how often I personally would use them, but, you know, so many different ways to play this game. The very dry part of South Africa, I gotcha. Watching in school, hope I don't get caught. I also hope you don't get caught, but I appreciate you stopping in. I don't know if, if you have audio on, but either way. All right, that is... If we get a little bit closer, there's that have to walk with binoculars thing. Yeah, still a two-star. Looking pretty decent, though. And then behind him, one-star adult. One-star adult. Don't think I'm brave enough to shoot that uneven, but like, not bad. And then that one actually looks pretty good. They're older adults, again, they're more of a brown than like the orange almost, but... Like I said, I don't think I'm gonna make that mistake twice. Any big tars? There's a, a four star that we're gonna go back and take a look at here. We're gonna probably... I feel like there's just gotta be more red deer around than I'm finding. But we're gonna maybe work our way up this creek. I think I actually will rest again, because we're almost at the end of red deer drink time. So maybe we can find some new Red Deer Zones, and then uh, we'll probably go back and check on that tar. Kyle was on the west side of the map. She said she found that three-star sandbar, and I want to go hunt around there. All right, which creek do we want to do, though? This one feels like it's more in the environment that the Red Deer seem to be in, so let's do that. Do you think Wave Hunter will eventually have more than Call of the Wild? Like, more species, more maps? If, if that's what you're talking about, maybe, but I would say only if Call of the Wild is going to, like, continue this rate. Because we only got one map last year. If they continue doing that, and if Way the Hunter keeps doing two, then yeah, I'd imagine eventually Way the Hunter catches up. How big is the new map? I believe it's the same size as Aurora Shores. Hey, thank you, Colson. Would you recommend medium or large? I wear medium. If you if you can't hear, Kyla says if it's a hoodie, go up a size. I don't like baggy hoodies personally. But. Hope we get ibex one day. Honestly, as good as they've done with really every horned species in this game, I think Ibex, they could, they could kill it. I think they could look really good. So there's supposed to be... What time did I make it? 820? If I would get up there. There's supposed to be... A big ol' herd of red deer right here. Maybe we're a little bit too early? Open they had rhinos. I was in the EW stream and Jaxie was talking about player prestige. Wait, what? She shot my first red deer, and the one in the herd with it is a three-star adult. Ooh, nice. I didn't even know red deer could be three-star adults. Because I think they age and stuff the same as... I should look at that. Before I just go saying things. Uh, red deer New Zealand. 9 to 12 as matures. Regular red deer. Yeah. Same... Sizes and everything. Whoops. Five star the same score and stuff. 
I can't remember ever seeing a three-star adult like Transylvania Red Deer. Just came from the W stream, was really hoping to hear about a new map, but nothing. We, they've done like spring content in the past, but I feel like if they were going to do a spring map, we would have heard about it. But I, I would like to think they're going to do something here in the spring, and we haven't heard about that either. So I don't know. I don't know what to think about whatever their current plan is, because it's, it's been the same for like six years. This is the first time I've ever switched it up, and I don't even know what to expect from them right now. All right. I think it's going to have to require patience, which I'm terrible at when I'm streaming. But we got to go slow up this creek. So you hit 60, then you get a star or something. Then you can get more skill and perk points. That's interesting. Pheasant management. Fingers crossed for at least a weapon pack. Something, right? Oh, we're almost out of bullets. Because some dummy was yeeting shots at every single tar he could find. I don't know who would do that. Alright. Um, I guess we'll go here. The other way we could do this, I don't think it... I mean, it's kind of a good way, but it's not a good hunting way. We could take the UTV up along the creek. And just try to spot things, but I'd rather not do that. Did I miss anything? Nothing crazy couple of, you know, potential future big male spotted. We have a four-star Himalayan tar that I think if we pass one more in-game day, we'll at least pass an age cycle. We're going to want to go and check on that. They'll announce the 102.0 and give an updated classic. Now well, that I can get behind. Just got called the wild. Any tips? Um, probably the simplest thing. For one, I'd say shoot everything you see get cash and XP, like, obviously you get that by shooting stuff, so don't worry about trophies as much as just trying to level up. And then the next thing I would say, sounds like we spook some pigs, is hunt near water. Always hunt near water. I'm not saying, like, if there's an animal in the field, don't go shoot it. But if you're near water, you're going to be finding animals. That shot placement couldn't have been pleasant for the pheasant. <laughs> I thought it was going to say it couldn't be better for the pheasant, and I was, like, afraid I sh hard shot it and didn't know it. I don't know if this map's better in Africa. Depends on what you want. Like, if you want, um, like, a vast array of big game and, like, constant encounters, Africa's going to be better. I think with Africa, for me, it's actually too much, which is crazy. I love, like, you guys know I don't really care about small game in any of these hunting games. I'll, you know, I'll shoot it if it's there, but I'm always going after big game. But yet, I think there's actually too much. Like, I just feel like I'm constantly looking at stuff on Tickamoon, and I want to have to work for it more. Uh, what's up, Joe? Dwayne has a question. I shall answer said question if I can. I'd be curious how big EW's dev team is. I, I could be wrong, but I think they have a decent-sized team. Not like a huge team by any stretch, but the way, like, the impression I get when they'll you know, they have different designers and stuff on it seems like there's a decent size team. It's not like there's four people working on the game, you know? How much and where is the private land? I know this is private land up here and then I think this side, is it the north or south part? I kind of forget. Somewhere on the west side of the map is more private land. Someone... Someone could probably answer that way better than I just did. But anyway, if you're asking the cost, it's the same as anything else. 4,500 credits for each pass. So, if you buy both, 9,000. Are there any big predators? There actually are no predators in New Zealand. And I mean real-life New Zealand. So, there also are none in the game. Is this the best map they've released? I don't, like, I, I don't even like to answer is this the best map question, regardless of what game I'm playing. I try not to answer those questions because recency bias gets you. 
as far as DLCs go, I think it could end up being the best. I don't think anything's going to top Nez Perce or Transylvania, at least in terms of long-term replayability, because of the size of the maps. The reason, in my opinion, now we got Red Deer on both sides. In my opinion, the reason that uh, Nez Perce is so good is the map's huge. Like, you never run out of places to go. On Aurora Shores, at least for me, I do run out of places to go. And I hope that that's not the case here. But when I look at it, I do feel like size-wise, I may, you know, find myself checking eight spots. And then I've kind of been everywhere. Playing online, Leighton Lake, shot a Whitetail 270. That is a pretty good one. I uh, really appreciate the realism in this game. I've been a Call of the Wild player for a bit, but I think I would enjoy this. Going to download tonight. Any tips? Um, well, obviously take it slow, but I think, you know, based on the fact that you're looking at the game and expecting to enjoy the realism side of it, you're probably already looking at it in that way. I, you know, it's sort of like Call of the Wild in the terms of, like, there's zones and stuff that you want to find, and you can, with a pretty good degree of consistency, encounter animals in those zones time after time. But yeah, just take it slow, and in terms of, like, the management of your herds, my personal opinion is that it's okay to mess up future five stars, like, as you're learning. Like, sometimes you just gotta shoot something and figure out, like, oh, that was a 95 percenter, shouldn't have done that. Um, if you want to try to avoid that, though, I mean, one star matures, that's always something you want to go ahead and take out, and then you're just looking for you know, weak genetics. And if, again, if you're afraid of messing up five stars, err on the side of not shooting them. But, again, shooting them is how you manage your herds. So, I just think you're better off learning from experiences, good and bad. You ever plan on coming out to West Utah to hunt mule deer? Oh, I see what you're saying. Out West, and then Utah specifically to hunt mule deer, I'd love to have you. The only state that I'm, like, getting preference points in right now is Wyoming. Um... If I have a successful mule deer hunt there and get addicted to it, who knows? I Whitetail are definitely going to be my main thing. Like, forever. It just is. But I'm definitely open to adding uh, future hunts really anywhere. Okay, these stags or red deer might just be a solo. Can't be very far. I almost want a warning card to know where they are. What's that, Hunter Wilson? Oh, yeah, they are not far indeed. They're on that creek. Probably drinking right there. Crawling is basically useless. It's no better than just crouching and stopping. Hey, what's up, Maximus? Gonna head out, uh, order my shirt. You and Kyle have a blessed day and take care. Also, Rip Toby Keith legend. Appreciate you hanging out, man. Thank you for the support as well. And hopefully we will catch you in the next one. Tripod, hey, you're smart. I like you. <laughs> one day I'll learn that I have these things. And you guys, like, there's no... You don't hear fleeing sounds. It didn't spook anything. Oh, maybe it did. No, it's just trotting. Was it a solo two-star adult, though? Since we're on private land, it's probably pointless to use a low fitness collar. Just hoping for a response. These ones over here, like on the other side, are probably just out of calling range. They didn't go very far. Something weird for there. I was just going to get with 100 but I realized it's $40. Going to pass on that? Yeah, it's fair enough. They're probably going to be spring sales and stuff. You might be able to catch it on sale. If I remember from hearing from someone that hunts the West a good bit, Utah's not really worth it for mule deer, or they could have been talking about a different state. Utah has monster mule deer for sure. I don't know what tag prices and stuff are. Maybe that's more the side you're talking about, but um, I'm pretty sure Utah, Utah actually does have good mule deer hunting. So you can't call for two species at once. Um, 
I don't know whether we want to go ahead and hit that Seeker Call or just... Because I don't get the impression he's coming in. Yeah, we'll do it. Now, high or low fitness, no idea. We'll see. What time do Himalayan tar drink? 11. They're 11, 11 a.m. to 3 p.m., I think. Just came back from school. Welcome on in. We are just chilling. I think we're trying to call on a Sika deer now. There was a red deer down here, but he didn't like us, so. It seems to me there's things on, like, literally all sides of us. I also, did I ever get new ammo? I didn't. I got the UTV and didn't get ammo. What a giant brain I have. Oh, I see it. Them's is sick of deers, I do believe. Why don't we just, uh... Well, that's kind of... If I marked that, that would have been way better. Now we'll do it. What time do Black Buck drink in Call of the Wild? I think it's at night. I don't even know what time it is. I want to say maybe 1800, but that, that could be wrong. Best thing about being surrounded, you can shoot your way out in any direction. Not wrong. Yeah, I don't think that guy was coming in either. Can somebody that's maybe hunted Seeka Deer? That's a sound that I... I said this in today's video, too. That's a sound I associate with Seeka Deer. They have, like, the deep... Almost, uh, roars? More red do you like? Found a Melamulia on my map? There you go. Do you prefer Call of the Wild or Away the Hunter? I mean, there's such different games, I prefer them for different things. Like, for Away the Hunter, especially when I feel like I'm missing that real life hunting experience, like the longer I get from hunting season in real life, the more I play Away the Hunter. In hunting season, I'm getting that experience, so I play Call of the Wild more. So, like I, like I said, I like them both for very different reasons. The red deer roars will make you leave just about anything. That's a very tiny one-star adult, I believe. So maybe we can make him dead. We're going to have to shoot him in the head when he lifts his head, though. Do. No idea what else is in there, but I didn't really like where we were not being able to see anything. Uh, just got wor off work. Have I missed anything? Nothing trophy-wise, anyway. We've been out here for almost two hours just shooting pretty much everything we see. There is a four-star Himalayan Tara. We're pretty close to resting one final time and hopefully aging him up. We basically should wait until around 11 in-game, so I think that'll be about a half hour. We'll rest one final time, maybe go and check his drink zone, see if we happen to have a 5-star, or maybe he just dies. As for this dude, 67%, not bad, but not great. And, I don't know, I guess we'll still try to go up this creek, but there's, it's very brushy. Never mind, the wind's terrible, it's just not going to work. Let's get, um, let's get ammo for one, and then, I guess we could try to go down it? I just don't think that's going to work well either, but hopefully he's a five star, fingers crossed man, it could happen. We have certainly had, I guess call them initial spawn trophies before, he wouldn't be a five star sort of as initial spawn, but, you know, animal that spawns with the genetics to be one. There's some tar speaking of. Looking kind of smallish to me. Oh, one star mature. A couple of one star matures. I think you just keep coming out of there, too. Well, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe that'll get him. I have a plan, though. And that plan... Requires a little bit of execution and mostly driving skills. Good start. Hello there, fellow sirs. 
Is that guy that I shot dead yet? Red blood. So the problem is identifying which one it was. It's a lot of blood. It doesn't look like a fatal one. Are there red deer in the mountains? I have not found any red deer up here. I found elk, tar, chamois, feral goats, um, even seek a deer. I have not, whoa, hello. I have not been seeing red deer. Is this hunting? <laughs> I hope that was that one star. Oh, it was, nice. I meant to do that. I'm good at this game. 22%. Are you the other one? Yep. Do we do it again? Probably not, but are we gonna try? Yes. Oh, almost. It's a weird angle. All right. So anyway, we got ammo. I said we're gonna go down this creek because the wind's better. Might as well drive to the start of it. No point wasting time. What's up, Mr. Biff? How's it going, man? Pretty sure that violates several hunting regulations. We'll just don't tell the uh, the way the hunter DNR on it. What they don't know won't hurt them. This will save you time. That is for sure. Going pretty good, man. We are uh, hopefully close to passing an age cycle here and seeing if we have a. Five star Himalayan tar. Wouldn't be shocked if he just dies, but you know. Alright. Where were you? So I was talking about this creek is so like. It's a really tiny creek and it's just lined with trees. It's really hard to see anything. Have you started the story in New Zealand? No, I'll probably give it maybe two weeks. I like to let people play it if they want to. Just so there's no spoilers or anything. Like, you know, someone comes into the stream and gets to see uh, a mission animal or some kind of cool spoiler. I'd rather let them play it if they plan to. And then, yeah, in, in two weeks or something, I'll stream it. First time playing the game, should I start buying new maps? Um, I'd play it and, you know, see, see if you like a certain, you know, type of hunting or anything first before you start diving into new maps. Have you ever been in trouble with a warden in real life? No. I've never encountered a warden, ever. <laughs> as long as he's on an EV that drive by he did still environmentally friendly, you're right. I like how Kyla got up and left. She just has her character auto running. <laughs> You just see your screen moving over there. Just say you're hunting for the government up here in Canada. They banned a bunch of rifles for us, but then hired foreign hunters using those rifles to call fallow deer in British Columbia shooting from helicopters. There's some really odd choices when it comes to like hunting regulations. Never encountered a warden. Um, the only time I kind of did doesn't count because, and what I mean is, we were camping. I was like eight and I think we we thought we were in an overnight place but we weren't so I think it was a game warden or whatever you know just went and told my parents like hey you can't camp here and we were like oh we're leaving later today and then we left later today and it was fine that's the only time I've ever encountered a warden outside of like you know I've obviously talked to game wardens in like hunter safety courses and all that but never actually when I was out hunting or fishing That's what I'm surprised um, I, that I've never encountered one while fishing. Nearly $80,000 spent for 84 deer. That, yeah, that's insane.
No, I got you, Eli. I got you. There's... It's not at all uncommon for people to not know about, like, regulation changes or, you know, to... Maybe the way that it used to work 40 years ago, you still hunt that way because your dad taught you that or whatever and it's actually not legal. There's... That's a very common story. I think you have 10 times. Really? That's crazy. I don't know if they were a game warden, but I know a person will be called the fish checker. I'm guessing to work for the DNR. Stopped by when I was a kid. That's where said story of the car crashing into some... Well, that's kind of concerning. Whatever happened. Think you have a higher chance of encountering a Karen than a game warden while fishing? I'll tell you what, I have a great chance of encountering a goofball walking a dog in the middle of the woods. There's a guy, I've seen him twice now. I was deer hunting in November, and then I was squirrel hunting, not like this past weekend two days ago, but the weekend before that. Just looked down in the woods, and there's a guy walking his dogs through the woods, no leash or nothing, like, you know, maybe you should not do that, or at least wear orange if you're going to do that. I don't get how people pay $20,000. Are you talking about like a, a high fence hunt? I mean, people can do whatever they want. Not something I personally would do, but I'm sure I do things that people think are insane. Like drop out of college and commit to YouTube. Best place to find moose on Nez Perce. Like all in the north. Um, the north eastmost cabin. They're all around there. And then there's like a swampy area up around there that's also really good. I'm getting the impression this just doesn't have red deer. They must be, they were like really in the lowlands then. But I feel like I'm missing some. Like see, I've got these red deer zones here. And then I've got one way down there. There have to be red deer in between. Let's investigate. IRL squirrel hunt soon. So, I got a five-star Rocky. Nice. I almost um, filmed that squirrel hunt that I was talking about. The reason I didn't was it was my dad's idea, and it was a little bit of like a meat eater inspired thing. So, like, he wanted to go out, shoot some squirrels, cook them on a, you know, a fire that we're going to make down in the woods and all that stuff. And I didn't want to... He doesn't want to be on camera, so I didn't want to, like, ruin the experience by having cameras everywhere. But if we do something like that again, yeah, I'll think about filming. We're going to just buzz up this creek because I'm trying to figure out what's going on. I want to know where the red deer are. Ow. Notice in PA anyway, as you get further away from the big cities, the wardens get nicer. I think I can see why. I got to quit... Glancing over a chat the second I'm about to smoke a tree. Great driver. You saw I had smoked you in that race. You just cheated to win, so you saw how good of a driver I am. Ow. Hello. <laughs> Dutch. <laughs> Sandboard here. Want a rematch? Yes. I want a rematch where I know where the course is. Piglet coming through here. Are you gonna help me find a red deer? Call him in with your deep piggy voice. Uh, you think there's a chance the way the hunter will do a six star, kind of like I'll call the wild do the great ones? I had a dream that they did 12 stars as great ones one time. Do I think they will do... I wouldn't say it's uh, out of the question. I kind of hope they don't. I think there's better ways to make something that's more sought after. Because I think what we saw with Call of the Wild was almost like a... Uh, 
not a devaluing of other species, but every animal that has a great one, red deer, white tail, uh, fallow, it looks like it's kind of decent. Uh, anyway, what, what did I say? Red deer, white tail, fallow, black bear, and moose. Those are hunted like 100x what everything else is. And that's, you know, there's some really awesome animals in the game. There's a bunch of dedication went into the waterfowl rework. And the majority of content and stuff out there is on just those five species. I don't think you want to, like to me, if I'm developing a game and putting a bunch of time into making all these cool things, I don't want to make one thing so much better than all my other cool things that I made that it doesn't then get appreciated. So I don't know, I, if they make something to be more special, I hope they do it differently. And I'm not even saying I dislike great ones. I think the concept is fantastic. I think the execution maybe could have been better. And he kills the stream. Nothing like really special. Where did they go? Where I'm located in Sweden in the south, we have so much wildlife. Roe deer, red deer, moose, boars, rabbits, pheasants. Always fun when you uh, surprise roe deer herds on your bicycle. I need to, like, I kind of understand how big road you are. One day I need to see one to, like, I know, Shadow, to properly grasp the size of them. Because I think it'd be funny to encounter a bunch of them. Ugh. I'm happy now. Mm -hmm. She thinks she's a human child. Got a five-star sandbar. There you go. Is that the pro like I've been saying sandbar for years? Is that actually the correct pronunciation? There's a sham wow out there. Wow. This game really makes me want to get out and hunt. It'll do that. It will definitely do that. And just like that, I am out of Mountain Dew. I'm gonna. It's like I'm like a car with no oil. I'm gonna break down really soon. No, those are yours. Yeah, but. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Got a red deer herd eating outside my window every night. That's awesome. It, I, I don't know what happened because, for whatever it was, I think 14 years we had a lab German Shepherd growing up. And he kind of, like, you know, being a loud barker and just a large dog, he scared deer a lot. So they sort of rerouted around the house. But, I think it was early 2019, when he died, the deer started moving through the yard. But the weirdest thing, in the last two years, they stopped. We used to see deer in the yard, like, if we were out there watching a football game or anything, there were deer there every single night. They don't do that anymore. And I kind of miss it. Like, here we'll get them occasionally, but just the, the lay of everything, they don't really, they don't have to pass through the yard to get to the fields like they do at mom and dad's. That kind of thing. No big males. This dog is so weird. Just laying here, like, licking the inside of my palm. You're weird. Black antler mission. Hmm. Sounds like I need to do some missions. Wave Hunter needs to improve small game? 100%. Their big game hunting is really good. The small game is as close to, well, that's there, I gotta shoot it, as any hunting game has ever done with their small game. Their small game is an afterthought to me. Blown away by how much bigger the red stags are on this map? It is awesome. Like, they are actually huge. Hello. A one star mature. Speaking of small game that I have to kill. That I have to kill. I said. Oh god. I said. I, I, I said. Where did it go? God. Why? I shouldn't have even attempted this. Stop. Being a ninja. It's jumping over my shot every time. Okay, that time I just missed. 
Jeez. It keeps turning every time I shoot. Or when I think I hit it, I'm like an inch behind it. Died that time. Hunting Sim 2 small game was especially brain dead. That's true. Hunting Sim 2's was pretty bad too. I think they're 13%. I think they're in similar categories there. Oy. So did that chamois roll down the hill or? Because we were standing by the blood and he didn't go anywhere. Blood there, chamois there. Like watching you kill a buffalo with a 22? I think I shot less times with the buffalo. Got my five star Samper doing the black antler mission and so the other guy. Oh, nice. Don't mind me taking a drink and not claiming things and just running past it nine times. Uh, there we go. 41%. Alright, what the heck was I doing? I actually can't even remember why. I oh, there's a campsite up here somewhere. That's what I was doing. Imagine hearing all that shooting and showing up just to see a dead rabbit. Like, have a one. Barely a 5 star elk, 466. Not bad. 5 stars, a 5 star. An impressive display of marksmanship, as I say many times. I know you guys all tune in for the, the top tier shooting and exquisite skill I display every stream. <laughs> Has anybody played any of... Is this one? Oh no, it did show up. It didn't say I unlocked it though. Anyway, has anybody played any of the other maps today? I'm curious if... I already had this one. Good lord. I'm curious if these signs are painted on all the maps now. Because I really think that was a good idea. Okay. Let's go... Um, up here maybe some. Kill a little time. And then we're going to go and see if our tar will age. Accuracy by volume? That should be in my, uh, my bio. Got one measly rest zone there. I think there are red deer up here, actually. I just have barely hunted up here at all. On Ticket Moon, the signs are the same. Like, they have the green and yellow paint now. Piglets. Anything interesting on the map yet? At a five-star public land, Rocky is my first kill... Ooh, a young mellow, mellow fallow buck, or mellow, mellow yellow. Uh, nothing crazy yet. I've got a four star tar that I'm hoping for. Um, nothing like, you know, that I've killed that has been a special thing yet. We'll see if the tar becomes the first one. I'll take them in the signs are normal. Okay. I just think painting them makes them so much easier to see. You guys are a little dense down here, aren't you? I'm just walking along forgetting the rebores at the base of this hill. I thought that was a red deer. That's an elk. I could see this being a decent spot for them. Uh, first kill in New Zealand is a one-star adult albino whitetail. Subpar genetics, but also still a rare. Yeah, can't. Can't let them go. Always gotta be trying to take them out. That's one of them things like... Our melanistic moose on Aurora Shores. We definitely could have given him another year or two. And he'd have been a four star. But I'd rather have a three star melanistic in my lodge than a dead melanistic rotting on my map. You know what I mean? Uh, where was that at? I think we dropped. I'm really bad, like, when I'm recording, and I don't have to look over a chat. Where was that at? There we go. Um, it's not terribly hard to shoot something and then walk right to it. I swear, when I'm streaming and I look at chat, I look away for two seconds. That thing might as well have been in, on another continent. I can't, <laughs> for the life of me, remember where it was standing. Are you the one? That's a decent one. Three star mature? Probably shouldn't kill that. Like, I'd like to kill that, but it's actually solid genetics. That's probably the female that was with that one that we shot. 
So it was right like the beginning of their drink time. Such a weird spot because the, there's all these decent little lakes here. But I feel the need to walk down and around. Otherwise, more buddies. We're going to just spook stuff. There's a red deer. Oh. Two star machine. Doesn't look bad. Let's see if he's by himself. Shot four or five star elk at that one lake and weighed the hunter the other day. I've never had four in the same hunt. I've killed. There's one lake where I've gotten like eight in total. I just think if you get good genetics there, it's just. I mean, it's a factory. Oh, the, wait. Those are fallow. How many. I kind of like this. Seems like there's a number of areas that just have deer. Like fallow deer, red deer, whitetail. Sikas. What? See if you can shoot as good as I did. Yeah, that's a different deer that's grunting down below that hill. That's why I want to go down and around, though. Excuse you. What's up, Shadow Wolf? Literally, I'm tracking a melanistic gray fox. Oh, that. That is cool. Do keep us updated. That's the one that... Yeah, yeah, yeah. The other one was like 300 yards. Did you speak my red deer? Better not have. Damn, white tails always burping at me. They're a little obnoxious, I won't even lie. Okay, that's a youngish mature. See how red he is still? Yep, yeah, now he's spooked. I wouldn't say, like, unbelievable potential, but two-star matures, they can make it, so gonna have to keep an eye on this spot. What is this considered? I don't know. I never looked at the map. I'll have to go in that lodge and get the map. I don't know if this would technically be primary habitat or not. Do Whitetail actually make that noise? That's close to, like, a, a buck roar, as it's called. I have heard one buck ever do that. But it's not... They don't just walk around doing it. Um, timing. It's a challenge sound. So, like, the time that I had it happen, I was... I kind of love the story because it's... It was me being really stupid, unfortunately. So, I'm... Um, uh, what was that? I swear, uh, maybe there's a deer over there. Yeah. Anyway. I'm going to this spot that I think is going to just be fantastic. Probably like three days prior, I had my dad come with me with his chainsaw and cut a limb off this tree that I think is going to be the perfect spot for my climber. So we cut the limb down. I'm going in there on a Saturday morning. I bring my climber and I, I guarantee I can do it now, but I just wasn't. I was either dumb enough or too scared to risk, like, moving around and falling that I couldn't get the climber over, like, the nub of that limb. So, literally, I'm, like, four feet up on this tree. And if you've ever used a climbing stand, trees, you know, they get smaller as you go up. So, you start with the climber slanted, almost like this. Like, if the tree's here, you've got the base of the climber and then the edge of the climber. It's, like, slanted a lot, so as you climb up, it's going to flatten out. So I'm sitting there hanging at a huge angle. I can't get up there. And I'm like, well, I'll walk down here. I'm just going to sit here now. And I start calling. Why? I don't know. But I did. And out of nowhere, a buck comes in and does that. that like the way the hunters sound. Thank you. That was it. Scared me so bad. It was a big 10 point with a doe. And he was there to run, run me off. And of course, he didn't see me. The doe did. Because, you know, Goober sitting there at a 45 degree angle when a tree stand isn't hidden really well. And unfortunately, I didn't get a shot, but it's one of my favorite hunting memories and has nothing to do with actually shooting anything. I guess we'll go blast that two star real quick. Did Jaxie announce anything for the EW stream? Somebody was talking about like Hunter Prestige that almost sounded like a 
almost what we've asked for with like increasing the level cap, but different. Never heard of Roar or a Snortwheeze? The only Snortwheeze I've ever had I got on film, which was pretty, pretty sweet. If only I could have closed the deal on that buck. 44 yards or whatever, through some limbs. I don't think I'd have shot him if he was in the wide open. If he was under 40, like 38, I'd have probably tried it. The, the first buck ever on film, if I'd have wounded it, I just couldn't have filmed anymore. So I just don't think I'd have risked it, but... That, that was a crazy... I think it was three hours he was in front of me. Do you do any IRL fishing? Uh, mostly fly fishing these days, but yeah, we get out... Not as much as I'd like to, but you know, that's the case with hunting or any outdoor activity. You can never go as much as you want, but... A decent bit, anyway. One time I'm pretty sure I heard a snort wheeze, uh, but it was the top of the ridge, two bluffs above, and never actually saw a deer. Privates, I don't think it was another hunter, but still. Oh, he's not even dead. In my experience, most... I think most hunters make a much louder sound than a deer actually does. My experience is only the one deer that's ever snort wheezed, but... Obviously, you make it loud so the deer hear it. I feel like you'd have recognized it as a, a human doing it, if it was. You by yourself? Yeah. Alright, now we're going to start wor working back the other way. A couple of little pawns and stuff that I want to get through. What is that? Stamp. Yes. I'm guessing that is story based. Got home last night, but no great one moose on my map. Big Satch. Oh, yeah. We weren't linked up this time, huh? Not a fan of doing a snort wheeze. I think it makes them want to circle downwind to you too much. I guess it depends on the spot. Like, when I. Usually, when I do it, I'm trying to bring them from a hundred yards or so. Ideally, you'd have a decoy, but I can't carry a decoy as far as I go. But, yeah, I don't know. I've never had them circle downwind of me, but I'm never, you know, I don't snort wheeze at 40 yards where they can really identify where it came from. What's up, Ryder? Map's been good so far. We're, uh, we seem to be in one of the better areas for deer. There's red deer, fallow deer, whitetail, all just in this area. And we happen to be in drink time, so we're checking a couple of those spots. Got the line with the bow? Oh, nice. What's up, Ava? Hopefully next map is Finland or Sweden. I wouldn't complain. 400 yards away, we hear that guy. Maybe he ate Taco Bell. Feel bad for him, really. Uh, got a gold? Nice. I'm curious to see what I can hear out here at my place. Been hunting along highways for so long, I feel like I missed some stuff that I'd otherwise be close enough to hear. I I think you're definitely right. I still want to know, like, what actually, what sense triggered me to turn around and look to catch that buck coming through that I shot down there. I don't remember hearing him. I don't think he was quite in my peripheral vision. Just something happened where I turned around. I imagine, you know, maybe there was a little sound that in the moment didn't even, like, you know, register as a sound in my brain. But it's, it definitely is loud. Uh, been thinking about getting away the hunter, should I? If you're interested in a more like true to life simulation when you're, when you're playing a hunting game, absolutely recommend it. I don't know if I can hear my own footsteps or if there's something right over this hill. You'd think if there is, it would have spooked already. Makes for some ter terrible video footage sometimes. Well, the video footage is good. The audio... I need to get a different mic, I think. As a grouse hunter, I don't know how Call of the Wild has not added rough grouse. I've kind of always wondered that, too. 
So there is another deer here. We know there's another deer like beyond this guy somewhere over here. Not the fallow deer, it's, it's a white tail, that one. Because those are all those fallow. I hear you. I know. Thanks for <laughs> making it known. I'm, I'm working my way there. Any new weapons? Uh, no. No new weapons this time. The new thing is... Tripods. Which maybe, instead of having to stock all the way into, uh... Into view of this thing, we can set up a tripod on the side of the dune here. Not on the side, but where we can see down over. Did you see the picture of the map pack 2 on Steam? No. Let me look at that. Store page. Y'all are very loud today. <laughs> and then the pig responds. Good. Uh, map pack 2. Oh. Yeah, with, like, the windmills and stuff? Huh. I'd be kind of surprised if they already have, you know, part of it made with this map just coming out, but maybe they do. Uh, one time when I was a little kid out bird hunting my, with my family, we found a wolf kill once. That'd be scary. Because you feel like it's probably never far away. I thought I was seeing stuff says it's coming out this summer, probably August. Their release schedule, and it's only been, you know, whatever, four maps now. But it's been, uh, August was release of the game. The following February was Aurora Shores. Next August was Ticket Moon Plains. Now February again, we have a new map. August seems to be when they would do that. They're everywhere. I think this might be where we want to manage our whitetail. Because good lord. I'm not even trying to hunt whitetail. <laughs> I just keep... Hearing grunts and I have to go look at them. Maybe a part of New Zealand? It could be, but the way they make the image... Like, they do an obvious split in between, as if to indicate, like, both maps. The other buck should have been... Wait, is there even water here? It kind of is. Ah, that's more what I'm after. Not you. I know you want to tell me where you are, but you're not the deer I'm looking for. So there is water there. And I... Oh. Two star mature. Okay, we can probably kill that. That one's probably far enough away. He, he may hear it. It's going to be close. Who didn't spook? That's interesting. But the red deer are over there barking at us. This really does feel like deer heaven right here. Alright, our buck shouldn't have gone too far. All those bunnies over there. I should have watched. Did he run up that hill? Man, he went further than I thought. All right. Uh, what are the odds I ever go down this way again? I'll leave the tripod there for now. It's not like we don't have a bunch. And yep, that one's still there. Are you on some kind of beach? I'm stepping on the beach. Did not you know you had 22 great ones in Call of the Wild? I don't. Um, I have five. When they released Bloodhounds, they tried to implement a great one counter and screwed it up. Diamonds were being put into the Great One column. Golds were being put into the Diamond column. Everyone's stats you played in that time frame are forever screwed. But, uh, yeah. The counter is not even close to right for me. Don't understand why this game calls Mallards Wild Ducks? Me neither. That's another one of those things where I say, small game in a way the hunter is basically an afterthought. Which, you know, to me, that's kind of fine. I mostly hunt big game anyway. But... Do I want there to be better small game hunting? Absolutely. That's another buck. This is, like, insane whitetail territory. The only weird thing is, walking on this sand, it almost seems like there's a... like a delay 
in the footsteps. Because I keep thinking I hear something walking. If it was a week ago, you would have had three. Yeah, you're right, because I didn't kill that great one until late Tuesday night. I'm thinking of doing... I don't know what I would do, but I'm thinking of doing some kind of special, like... Crazy Week and Call of the Wild recap type video, but... I just don't know how I'd go about it. Are red deer bigger in New Zealand? Much bigger, yes. Um, there are red deer up there. I think those are fallow. I was hoping maybe I could see one and show it to you. <laughs> Whitetail again, no surprise. Those are Whitetail. <sighs> well, if we can find some red deer, I'll show you. I know they are around here. We gotta, like, look at these two things and then stop. Because we're never gonna leave here if all we do is chase these whitetail around. One star mature. Okay, so that probably needs dead, but before we shoot it, because that will spook this one. Luck's been crazy. Uh, mellow five star and two great ones. All in, like, eight days. <laughs> Another three star. Not bad. So, now I forget where that was. Like, really forget. It was right there somewhere. Whoa, hello. <laughs> Not bad. That might have a chance. That's the three. Where did the one star go? I know he's in these trees right here. Aha. Uh -huh. You couldn't resist, could you? You had to roar one more time. Now I got you dead. Oh. We're gonna go get that other one, too. Pretty big male? Name him Brock. Shouldn't take too long to bring him down. How bad did old Mallor models look in Wade the Hunter? It, it wasn't the models that were bad. It was the harvest screen thing was like stretching their necks in a funny way, I think. I think the models, they have always been the same. Would like the ARs in this game like Call of the Wild? I'm trying to think if that would... Because, like, in, in Call of the Wild, a lot of poor hits kill stuff, whereas in this game they don't. I'm trying to think if that actually ends up mattering. I guess if you could get off a quick follow-up, instead of, like, the whole herd running away, maybe you kill two animals instead. 41. Yeah, the genes up here don't look bad. I think if you want to get Whitetail for your New Zealand Lodge, this is the spot. And I guess just in case you need it, top left. There's Red Deer. They don't look like there's any huge ones there, though. There might be one decent one at the very front of that herd. Another buck over there. Like, how... How do they just keep showing up? No, that's not what I wanted. Give me my tripods back. That's about as poor genetics from what I've seen Whitetail Red Setter are way better than the East Lowland Forest? Really? All these three and four star Whitetail seem to be... Pretty decent. A whole bunch of deer over there. Decent ish one. Nothing crazy special though. No. <laughs> go back to wherever you came from. We're going to go get that other one. Um, nah, good lord. 
I'm struggling with the UI for the tripods. There's a takedown spot if I look exactly in the right spot. We'll go get this buck and then we'll get out of here because I can't stop chasing Whitetail. Are the tripods worth using? They're honestly best for like peeking over hills in all honesty. Is this a beach or are there sand dunes? It's a beach. I think that's exactly it, JTAC. I think if they did it wrong, they could jeopardize the game. Uh, what do you think the next Call of the Wild map will be? What do I think it'll be? I have no idea. I hope it'll be Greenland or something like that, but... I don't... I don't have a good feel for, like, where they might go next. Mel has a poor genetic spot on her map? I know, what is she even doing? All of her herd should be 99% by now. <laughs> Alright. Uh, Do we want to... Go so What was I even doing? Oh, I know what. We need to go to here, get the map, and then rest and check on our tar. Before I completely forget what's going on and just never go back to the tar, let's get that done. And then we can figure out where we're going from there. So uh, we're about two and a half hours in. We can just keep on chilling for a while here. There's the map. I don't want to listen to the person. Have I haven't discovered anything. Shut up. Uh, okay. And tar are 11. What do you think about a great one elk? I think it could be pretty cool. So this is lowland forest. That is uh, red deer primary, right? Where are they? Yeah. Worth looking into anyway. But like Mel said, if the east is better, then it's just better. And then I think... Was it there? I spotted him down here first, but I, I think we determined he was actually drinking up there. What's up, Johnny? Mel's out here. Killing all kinds of five stars. Kyla's got albino chamois. I'm just here. Those are... Speaking of chamois. So it should have been the lake to the left. I think. What do you want after? Right now, we are going to check in on a four-star Himalayan Taro we had. We've rested for the third time during this stream, which means we should have just passed an age cycle. Therefore, I want to see uh, see if he's aged. If he's not here, he's going to be, I think, down there. You know, ah, this is weird, though. Because the place that we saw him, and to be fair, we spooked him to that spot. The place that we saw him was... On this side. There's Tar there, but that looks like a bigger herd. He was in a small group. Did a new character come with this map? I don't know. <laughs> Does, has anybody... Somebody in here can probably answer that. I don't have the answer. I always play so. Yeah, I always just play as River now. I feel like... It's almost like how I like Leighton in Call of the Wild. He started out with River, so I just feel like he's the... He's the one I connect to. How long does it take for an A cycle to happen? Okay. This is simple but complicated. When you pass three in-game days, as long as you've played for an unspecified amount of time, um, they made a point of not telling us how long that is, you'll pass an age cycle. So, you know, if you go to the bed in the lodge or if you go to a campsite and sleep three times, passing to the next day. So if you sleep for an hour, that doesn't pass a day, obviously. You gotta sleep say from, I don't know, 1 p.m. to 10 a.m. the next day, that's passing one day. You do that three times, that'll pass one year. There's no new character. So who's like the main character, like if you play the story, on uh, Matariki Park then? One star young. I saw one big one, but it didn't look like a five star big one. Uh, 
one star young, one star young. I don't, oh, three star mature. So this is that other herd then. Maybe they're down. Maybe they're down at uh, that lake. River's the player character? I mean, it ain't like I'm upset about it. I like River. I wonder why they chose River. Maybe they just didn't want to, you know, completely develop a new character. You play as River and Jackie. Interesting. Loving the stream. Great to listen slash watch while exploring my map. That's cool. I, I love doing that too. Like, when a new map comes out, just finding something to kind of have on the side. Chill to relax while well, you, you know, because it's a lot of land and stuff you gotta pass over. And you just go and explore. The comic books and story mode are a bit goofy? They can be, yeah. What, what is it? I can't. Hopefully he doesn't die like mine did. That was positive. I said hopefully it doesn't. Don't you? Why do you do this? How exactly do genetics work? Um, so basically, the genetics determine the like the maximum size of the animal. I think you could. Oh, he's still a four star. Dang. Assuming that's the same one anyway. Uh, you can think of it as genetic potential. The potential for the animal to get, you know, to the let's say to the maximum size. If he's a ninety nine percenter. In theory, he can get basically as big as that species can get. <sighs> Woo, that was a further drop than I thought. In order to improve the genetics on your map, you want to shoot animals with low genetic potential? Essentially, your respawns, or you can think of them as offspring, their genetics will be a product of the average genetics of all the other animals in the area. So let's, let's make it really simple. There's way more animals than this on the map. But let's say you have three white-tailed deer. You can't see their genetics until you shoot them, obviously. But, for the sake of what I'm trying to explain here, let's say one is 71%, one's 81%, and one's 21%. If you take that 21%er out, that average just went up by a ton. So you always want to be taking out those low genetic males, and improving your average, and then your offspring are going to just be better and better. I guess we've kind of determined that four star is still a four star, but that sucks that- oh. Maybe there's two four stars. Well, either way, we didn't- we passed an age cycle, I'm confident of that, but we did not have a five star to him. That one's okay. That one's okay. That one looks decent. Yeah, none of them looked giant. All right, back to uh, back to trying to go to new spots. Uh, there's got to be a bunch of campsites on this side we haven't been to. I just don't know what. Where's the wind going? We're going to be better hunting south, or north to south. So we'll try it. Got a 500 max score with Whitetail last night. There you go. I still don't have a max score in this game. A bit sad there's no waterfowl. Or at least no new waterfowl, right? I mean, there's gray lag geese and the wild ducks, but nothing new. Any five stars? None yet. We, uh, I don't know if you... There's a four star. I don't know if you saw us just looking at that uh, four star Himalayan tar over there. We spotted them at the beginning of the stream. We have passed one age cycle. Unfortunately, he did not make it to five. That doesn't mean he won't with another cycle. We're just not going to get through two cycles in today's stream. So that will have to be an endeavor for uh, possibly tomorrow's video. We'll see. I hate doing that though. Like when I don't know, if he had been a three star adult and I can say like, well, that's going to be a five star. I just need to give him time. 
that would be one thing, but I hate to be like, alright, we're gonna try to kill him in tomorrow's video and then he dies. <laughs> it's just kind of like, well, that was pointless. Uh, we're late in the day now for Red Deer, but maybe they'll still be around. Let's aim for... Oh, I have that pond marked. Let's go for that pond, see if we can find in between. I wonder why they made New Zealand so deserty in this game compared to the greenery in Call of the Wild. I don't know. I don't feel like it's deserty. Maybe it's... I guess it wouldn't be fall, really. I know what you mean. I'm not sure if like it's technically like an aridish climate as much as it's just brownish grasses. Buddy home down here. That's crazy. All those whitetail are like down on the beach. They like stepping on the beach. Pfft. Just in time, huh? I think that's one we already saw. I don't know what that was. Online call out needs a patch. Oh yeah, the disconnects. It's rough out there. It's rough. Whoops. Yeah, we're never gonna spot those. I'm almost tempted to get a, a UTV and buzz around, but I feel like I don't kill things, I just look at things. Go check that for- oh, good point. Some of us are smarter than others. And he was... Like, on that creek. Yesterday's stream was fun? Yeah, a little bit, you know. Had a, had a good time. <laughs> I think I still have that on here, don't I? You kill things with the UTV? That I do. I'm really good at that. Just joined anything cool yet? Um, so there was a four-star Himalayan tar that we were keeping tabs on. Just past an age cycle. But unfortunately, he did not make it to five. He's still alive, so there's still a chance. But, uh... At least, uh, in today's stream, for that one, can't say we're not gonna find another big tar, but he's not going to make it. So that's still a three... I mean, did we definitely pass an age like we had to have? I can't say he looks different to me, though. Well, let's go check on the whitetail. That's a doe. They're all snorting at me, but I don't really care if we spook them because we'll be able to see them. Can't wait to stream it. Kill a bigger male than me, probably. Oh, you shot your four star? If that thing's a 90 something percenter. I care. Big males, big males shall not be wasted. Big male shall not be wasted. He looks like mine that died, actually. Eighty-one, so he would have died. Just spy shot a diamond white till. Oh no! Five star albino red stag incoming. I like with these ones. So we had that albino uh, stag on Transylvania, and he's, I think he's still a one-star adult. I had hopes that he'd maybe get to five-star because I thought that'd be amazing. A five-star albino on this map will literally be insane. Melanus the Great Fox down, barely didn't make gold attract him across the whole top part of Mississippi. Well, I'm glad you found him. I, I don't know what it is. That map, I've had some rough tracks chasing stuff around. Okay, that was the herd that we spooked. That, uh, that's the area. Hello, pig. Kyla, you frightened me. Are we getting a second video today? Maybe a certain great one? Uh, there's not gonna be the great one video today. I don't- I haven't decided when I'm gonna do that yet. 
Lost our basketball game yesterday, but I'm out of school again for an eye appointment. Love your vids. Keep it up. Well, I'm glad you could stop in. Hopefully, uh, hopefully the next game goes a little bit better. I can tell you, I didn't win a single basketball game in grade school, so if you've won any, you're doing better than me. Okay, he was like laying somewhere right over here. But he's different now, right? Still a four star. And that might still be the same rack. Did I miscount? I'm sure we rested three times. So aging should have happened. What do we have? Is there anything on this map that I'd be able to look at again and be like, you're different? The red deer, I guess. I'm probably already done drinking, but if we're quick, maybe. So where would you rate this map compared to the other four? I'm always really careful about like when new maps come out, I don't like to give them an immediate rating because recency bias will definitely cloud judgment. Um, if like if I try to remove recency bias, I, I just don't think Nez Perce and Transylvania should even be included because they're they're so much bigger. They're just naturally going to be better in my opinion. As far as like between the three DLC maps now. I can see it being better than Aurora Shores. Tickamoon, I think I already like it better than Tickamoon. I don't know what it was. We talked about that earlier. There's just something about Tickamoon that never quite... I love Rohunga and Call of the Wild. Like, I like hunting Africa maps, but Tickamoon just never did it for me. Go see if I can put a tripod near a tree for a tree stand. Hey. What is it? Necessity's the mother of invention or something like that? Are they really not going to be here? Oh, they got to make my life difficult. Alright, we'll get a UTV. Tick Moon's missing leopards? Leopards could be neat. There was also, you know what else could work? If they're here. I mean, it's not like we can't rest to Red Deer time, but it'd be nice if they were just here. There was that really wonky two-star mature, and it would be very clear if we had an age cycle pass. If we could look, I bet you that's the herd, though. Uh, where do you drive from here? We'll just run after him. Just got my first five-star sandbar. Nice. The colors in the Africa map in this game aren't as pleasing. That's that's a fair point. <laughs> We're gonna be able to catch up to these things. They ran quite some time ago now. 12 point turn, get my. Wait. Is it those? So there's two herds of red deer that live here. Whoa! Wait. Hold on a minute. <laughs> that, that was bigger than the two star. Get back here. Now I forget. Oh, they're up there. Hi, pheasants. Oh, God. <laughs> Smoked them. That's a big boy. Yeah, we gotta we gotta go catch up to that. Absolutely smack that pheasant too right off the sidebar. Oh boy. Uh, found him. Four star. Okay. Look at the size of that though. He looks a lot like the one you just had. Oh, they're gonna run away. No! Whoa, what the heck? There was a five-star whitetail! Well, he's running into a great spot that I'm never going to be able to see him in. Okay, uh, jeez. What an awful spot. Like, literally, he's running into this mess of trees. How are we even going to... Alright. I don't have... I got this. So, the thing that sucks is those red deer went in there too. Therefore, like,
like just hearing a twig snap isn't gonna be like, hey, now we sit down and call. Didn't even see these things. It's funny, the guinea fowl on Tickamoon, like, on private land, they're all five stars. Like, I killed so many big guinea fowl, but here it's not like that. Deer drive time? I'm not gonna lie, lie. I highly considered yeeting in there with the UTV. I just know I'd run it over. <laughs> you guys want a deer drive? I mean, I can if you guys want me to do that, but we'll see. Was Pizza asking where I'm at? Oh, yeah. Don't look at my screen. Find it yourself. Yeah. Right there. <laughs> like, halfway down the creek. So aging definitely happened. That's wild, though. Like, how many animals that we looked at that were exactly the same? Like, they're, the white tail frames didn't change. But I know, because I was here. There's, there was not a five-star whitetail here. Unless he's in a rarely zone, I guess. But the four-star red deer is new, too. I believe he was the three-star. I kind of think he's going to die, in all honesty, but just in case. I don't think that's them. I think that's the pigs. God, that scared me. <laughs> Danny, thank you for the super chat. You should get the pheasants insurance info. Um, This is... A hit and run situation. Try road killing a five star red deer. Someone out there can do that. It won't be me. I did road kill an albino lion with pizza on stream though, so I guess I've done worse. Okay, so we know one of those twig snaps was seek a deer. We also know those whitetail were really vocal before, so if we could just get one. Like, if we could hear him. Just one snort at us. Kylo will roadkill a five star stag? Oh, yeah. Your keyboard is oddly satisfying. It is a. I think this is the Razor Huntsman Elite. Well, that's not the right whitetail. <laughs> but I'm glad he's back there. But anyway, um, it had the yellow switch, whatever the silent switches are. Because they have, like, you can get them with different, like, really clicky switches or... Oh. That's got to be them. Huh? The, what? the switches on the keys? It's funny that's a trophy buck run. I can't possibly see how that's not them. There's, like, no good reason for... A random whitetail to be in here beyond being spooked out of their drink zone. Didn't know there's whitetail in New Zealand. I wonder why we don't have in Tearoa. I do think it like it's a weird fit to me. They are there, but it does. I kind of like. And New Zealand is kind of funny because like there's been a bunch of stuff introduced to it, but I do like. Uh, not having non-native species on the map as much as possible. Like, that's where I feel like it's weird. But again, they are there. I hate that these trees in front of me aren't as detailed as they need to be. It's because my computer doesn't like this game and the graphics are... There he is right there. The graphics don't uh, cooperate with it. It's detailed when I have the binoculars up. Should I get this or Call of the Wild? I mean, depends on what you're after. You know, it's all personal preference at the end of the day. It looks, you know, what kind of hunting game are you trying to get? Do you want a more true-to-life hunting experience or do you just want to be able to, you know, run around and shoot stuff? Pretty sure every animal on this map is invasive. Yeah, that's where, that's where New Zealand is a little bit different. Like in terms of what makes sense to add there from a player's perspective who doesn't live there or hasn't hunted there. He's pretty big. Like, that's the big frame, I believe. And wouldn't it be a non-new species? <laughs> As our first five-star on New Zealand. 
a sea deer or something back there? Long brows on him. He should stop and turn back. And we'll just try to see if we can heart shot him when he stops. Gotta be any second now. Well, I'm glad we hadn't shot him yet, because that was pretty cool. I don't know if that was hard. It may have been because he didn't go very far. You think it was 500 score? Well, that would be hilarious. <laughs> if our first uh, five stars, 500. That's the big frame, though. I'm pretty confident of that. I thought I heard one footstep. Imagine getting like run over by another whitetail. Probably make this quick because his antlers is clipping and his mouth is wide open. He's just shocked. I can't believe you've done this. Good enough for me. Hard shot indeed. Cool. I always make it like if I'm gonna use a gun, I like to try to kill big stuff with a bow, but if I'm gonna use a gun, I try to get him through the heart. Oh, he's only 90%, so he's not gonna be as big as I thought. 464, barely five star. Five stars a five star. We'll take it. Day one of New Zealand. First five star down. Let's go back to the lodge, we'll place him. I will go AFK for a second, go to the bathroom, come back, we'll keep on hunting for a little bit, and we'll see what kind of big males we can get. That sounded just like TK? Wait, what did? <laughs> nice five star, why thank you. Uh, this is a smaller... Oh, you can put almost anything there. I think whitetail makes sense. Well, there we go. All right. Uh, do I want to do... I have a thing here, don't I? Does this work? Yeah, all right. I'll be right back, and we shall continue, hopefully, finding more big males. You know, the one problem I have is my unmute mic key also brings up this chat room screen, so I have to double transition. Comes back and chat is just gone. Everybody's left me. Sag. I don't... I don't know. I feel like that... Oh! <laughs> I feel like that was planned. Anyway, I feel like that and a big red deer above the fireplace would look pretty cool. Just got my Glacier Great One Bear, nice. Music is synonymous with Flantro, holy. Okay, as to the original plan of exploring the west side, the only reason we were even down there where we found the five-star whitetail was confirming that uh, an age cycle had even passed. And I felt like I had thought about grabbing the UTV and just buzzing around a little bit up here, just to maybe look for a campsite or two.
Yeah, it's not like, uh, like Mel said, it's not meant to be inches, it's just like a standardized scoring system. My ear pockets. Let's say, maybe like, oh, that's a campsite for sure. We'll go there. Well, you look like a piss ant. Thank you. Not your best behaved chat? Right, 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 right. How could I ever accuse you guys of such a thing? What's that? Oh, that's the outpost. Okay, come here, you. Come on. Come on. Come on. That UTV is just co- Oh, thanks. <laughs> Stepped right on my stomach jumping up. She wanted to go into the bedroom and look out the window, so I knew she'd want to look out here. That's, that's what I've always been told, bottom boy. I heard footsteps. All right. I'm insulted you'd even suggest people would not behave in chat. Not only would I suggest, I would insinuate. I keep tapping this old bottle. They should do it in Boone and Crockett scoring? 100% agree. That's yet another reason I love classic. Uh, killed 12 level 5 salties on this run? Dang. Small males galore. I picked the wrong way to go. Good lord. Whose idea was it to drive through the trees anyway? Hey, a creek. Might even encourage? I can't say you're wrong there. A road! <laughs> nice. Take out a five star with the UTV? The only five star I'd willingly kill with the UTV is like a duck. I'm not saying I wouldn't do it by accident, but at least as far as doing it on purpose. Absolute worst path? I'm really, like, I do that in any game, whether it's like GTA or like any game where you can drive. I'm always like, well, I'm going to go straight through. I'm not taking 15 turns to get to my spot. And it takes a half hour longer because I do this. Like skill every game ever I do this. You'd think I'd learn, but I don't. And then what happens is I run into 100 trees and therefore... I'm like, well, I gotta move faster now, otherwise this shortcut's not gonna be shorter. And I just run into more trees because I'm trying to drive too fast. Would love to see a Mario Kart stream now? Oh boy, my Mario Kart days are, are long behind me, unfortunately. Extended shortcut? Yeah, you know. The version everybody wants to get. All right, that's a, at least that's a little fast travel place. So now we'll go, what time is it? About 1 p.m. Let's do like 10. I hate to rest so often, but I want to make it end of red deer drink time, beginning of deer drink time, so we can maybe encounter both. Not about the destination, but the adventures on the way there and the amount of trees we can uproot with the front of our UTV. Have you seen a five-star sandbar rack now? Uh, no, I haven't. There's probably some in my Discord, to be honest. No, there's not. Nobody's posted one yet. I know a couple people got some. Is class seven good? Uh, I just got my first kill okay, as a black bear. What if you died? What if I died? So class seven is just the... Like, the basically, that means what type of ammo or what class of ammo you want to use it it doesn't have any bearing on like the size of the trophy or anything like that gonna be interesting to see what streams turn into now the great one grinding has come to an end for now I imagine there'll be a decent bit of way the hunter because we haven't streamed way the hunter as much partially because 
Those you know, are some nice tracks. Want to follow them? I do want to follow them. I do wish there was more tracking in this game, actually. Um, but yeah, there's... I only have so many hours to grind, and when we can spend two hours great one grinding on stream, I usually take that opportunity. Now that that's not a concern... There's a two-star at all, that's good. Uh, yeah. Way the Hunter and stuff like that probably makes a bit of a comeback, and then hopefully some, some more chill hunts. Maybe we get back on the more coast a little bit. I don't even know what... Was it that one? How are you still going? This is the biggest male... Uh, lost... Oh, there he's dead. I think that was it. I'm pretty sure we did whiff that first shot. So now we're in... Tarland again. I guess I can see why. What was that? I know I saw some. I don't know where it went, but something was like scampering across the ground over there. Sneaky. Poor thing gonna die from lead poisoning. Listen, we gotta manage these hurt. Probably was 99%. It was a youngish adult. It wasn't my smartest move, I don't think. Sounds good, pizza. Appreciate you hanging out. Enjoy your stream. <laughs> Can't wait to actually be able to do weapon switches without feeling insanely guilty. Yeah, I mean, when I set up weapon switches on stream, I bet you that was before Great Ones were a thing. Or at least, like, after we got in the Great One Whitetail. They, the idea behind them was never to, to make grinding more of a strug, so we did hit him in the lungs. But that definitely became, like, a, a common theme with the weapon switches. It'll be fun to use them on, like, regular hunts. That's for sure. All right, a little lake there. <laughs> Just ran over a 99% wild boar, great start. Uh, management. That great one, Whitetail, was historical. It's a bottle of water. That scared me. Does that mean I'm supposed to hydrate? I'm gonna weapon switch to a no sights 30-30 on Way the Hunter? Does it have open sights? I don't remember. Some of these guns, their open sights just are horrid. I personally subscribed to you when you posted the Diamond Albino Moose video. That's still like, it, it was the same, kind of, but backwards, of my Piebald Diamond Gray Fox. I saw the Diamond Rack first, because he was behind some brush. I didn't realize he was albino. So it was just like, oh no way, Diamond Moose, because you know how it was back then. There was a big rack and a small rack, and the big rack always made diamond. And then it was like, oh my god, that's albino. The gray fox was the opposite. Like, oh, no way, a pie bolt. Oh, that's a nine. <laughs> Hydrate or dihydrate? You're right. I think it's a five-star mission, Sambar. Yeah, everybody's saying they're getting five stars from that. I don't want to do the missions just yet, because I like to avoid spoilers for those who are really, you know, interested in the stories. So we won't do it today, but that's actually kind of exciting to go and get that. The spine shot times, indeed. I miss them and I don't like that. Actually going for spine shots I don't miss, but I miss the way the game worked then with quick kill and stuff. Consec was a problem. Huh, there's something right down over the hill. Chamois drink here. Tar drink here. I wonder where they were then. Maybe we spooked them when we shot that other tar 87 times? It almost sounds like whatever's down here is not running very fast. Ah, they're tar again. Two star mature. Uh, depending, we might kill that. Ooh, goats.
No big ghost. That one's okay, maybe. And I guess it's just these two? If they stop, we'll shoot them. If they don't, we'll get a goat. I'd like to see the time of day on the main screen. You mean without having to open your... Like the pause menu or whatever? I was literally just getting ready to try to headshot him because he stopped at a weird spot. You win this round. This looks like desert? I guess kind of, but it's almost like, uh, more like sub-alpine than alpine, really. Uh, playing Leighton Lakes for the first time, anyone got pointers? Yeah, like Kyla said, Balmont's really good. Um, if it were me, I'd start working through Balmont, and then eventually I'd go to the southwest, uh, down around Renaki. Renaki is fantastic. Maybe it's because I had goats IRL for a while, but I just don't enjoy shooting them much. I'd get that. They're not my favorite thing to go after, but like the tar do intrigue me. It's the oddest feeling shot of Pied, Rosie, and Classic, and only after I walk up to him, I realize he was a monster. My one only 400 plus, and he won me a trophy? Wait. Is this like forever ago? I'm aware of one piebald 400 plus Rosie in Classic and I'm just curious if it's that one. One star adult. One star mature, that is dead. At least we can identify by the uh, fur patterns. <laughs> that was cutting it close. <laughs> Car look fantastic, but I head out to my first New Zealand hunt. Nice. Oh, what the? Hello, albino shammy. Uh, is that Devon Dibin Scott? Thank you for subscribing. Two star mature. Well, we don't know how mature it is. I think it has to die. What do you guys think? That's kind of cool. Just turn broadside too. Schust. But if you close your eyes. Emotional vanity. Emotional vanity. Emotional vanity. Emotional vanity. Is it emotional damage because I don't know just how mature he is? They look good though. Like we have killed one before on Transylvania, but I don't think I fully appreciated it. It's dead now. Not a great genetics area for them. Fair enough. Timed that well? You did. I wish feral sheep were in over whitetail. Yeah, what are they called? Era... I can't, I can't pronounce it. Era... Something... Not Era Pima. That's like that fish. Era something ram. Those could have fit really well. Is that the feral sheep you're talking about? Smoked. Where was that goat? I'm seriously so bad at this. Like, I literally... Yeah, we're almost over to the chamois now. I shoot things, and then I look at them. There it is. And then I think for two seconds about something else, and I completely forget where it was laying. Era power? Is that... I, that's the one I'm talking about. I just don't know how to say it. 48%. And then the more important thing. Curious, uh percentage on this, just how big he could have gotten. Shammy live a really long time. Um, just so you can see it. Are they fours? No, they're fives. They get to 19 years old. They're mature for seven years. A two-star mature absolutely would have a possibility of making it. So that's the... There's more Shammy over there. That's the trepidation, I guess, in shooting one. But the other side of it is it could die literally the next year. It might be 19. There's no way in knowing. The only thing you could ever do is if you spot it as adult, when it gets to mature, then you count years. So now we're going to have... I don't like this doesn't always go away now. Now we're going to have an albino chamois and a five-star whitetail from day one. 
I didn't think that was a great shot. I felt like I was a little back, but dropped it anyway because this tire game is pretty darn good. 64%. Three star mature maybe would have been his peak. And frankly, they don't look very different horn wise, so I think that was the right call. Well, that'll definitely have to go on a full body uh, platform. Which we'll take care of in a bit, but we'll keep on hunting for now. Two star adult, there we go. I like the looks of that. We gotta get over here and... I think these are the same goats, but... I do want to spot those things as we go by. Found an albino white on the new map. There you go. Have you ever tried playing the long dark? Nope. You've probably heard me say it before. I literally... I own it. I haven't even installed it. It interests me like it does. It's just one of them things where it's like, when do I set aside the time to play it? River and I have similar hunchback issues. All I know is if if you and River are the same size and I sat down next to River, I'd look like River's child in the trophy. Ooh, hello. In the trophy shop. Four star. And then one star. <laughs> What's left in here? Because these are the same, right? Pretty sure. That one star is the win all the way out front. This is how we never get anywhere and just keep hunting the same area. We just kill a hundred things and just keep on going back and forth. That lake is... that's kind of awkward. I think we're better running over and claiming him and then going to the lake. Not a game experience. How well does it hold up? Meaning like... Because that game's almost 10 years old by now. There's a three star. One star. Ooh, four star. Hello. He looks pretty good. Well... Either we have his zone, or maybe they drink here. Let me see if I can get a zone here. I need to... And they probably don't have this map out yet. I really need to get the Boy the Hunter toolbox. And start making use of that. Like, writing down where I have four stars and stuff. Because inevitably, I forget about things. There's a zone there. It's like the whole thing is a zone. Got Feral Goat. Chamois. Red deer? I want red deer up here. It's an often drink zone. Where are they at? Feral goat. There's a rarely zone for tar. Chamois again. And feral goat again. <laughs> Another tar zone. Good lord. Alright. I think we picked them all up. Look at all the herds. Like, the, these mountains are insane. Two squared divided by... What, what do you mean the sum of six? Twelve. Good answer. Uh, there should totally be a 12-star great one. Like I said, I had a dream about it. I had a dream they had a 12-star great ones. What about Alaska? What's the way the hunter toolbox? Um, it is so it's so I think it's community made. It's in the official way the hunter Discord. Essentially, and I guess I don't know if he phone or anything, but it's like a I, I don't have a word a thing. I'll just say it that way. So it's got, like, your map. And then the thing that I don't like about it, it will show you every single zone that exists. So if you open your map right now, all the zones that I have, you also have. That is the kind of annoying thing about Way the Hunter. Everybody's map in that sense is the same. Now, the animals in those herds are obviously different from one map to the next. But anyway. And what you can do is you can go in on that thing. And then you can, you know, select this herd of tar. And then you can put notes in there like, you know, four star, go check it out next or, you know, you can write down whatever notes you want. Albino, shamey, and this herd, that sort of thing. It definitely can ruin the experience of finding all your herds. I, you know, I, I would prefer to completely explore this map before I, uh... Before I'd use it. But at the same time, now we have, like, 
either two or three four star Himalayan tar, I'm gonna start to lose track. This area looks like Parquet Mountains? It really does. That's a great comparison. What? I just ran... What is that? I literally just ran over here to claim that chamois. That's that same two-star adult tar again. And now we're spooking stuff down here. I'm so confused. There's a bunch of sham wows down there. Maybe I'll just quit running. Seems like a good idea. Got two albino lion. Is this rare? Like two in the same herd? Uh, it's happened. Like a couple of people have had it, but it seems pretty rare. One star mature. Okay, so red deer up here, probably not really worth the time. Considering what we have in other parts of the map. That one looks kind of big. Nope. That's the same ones. That four star mature again. And see, I had already forgotten that existed. So we have a four-star tar and a four-star chamois up here. And then there's another four-star tar on the south part of the map. Uh, it's not through here. Now everything here is fine. Jax has said on stream today about the new map that his reaction was, wow, we're getting these? going to be, uh, Fabled Toes. I said Fabled Toes. Jaxie was surprised. Would you be surprised if they added random toes you could hunt? You wouldn't expect that, would you? Restarted my stream? All good. Fabled Beard Fur. Does private land have better animal genetics? Yes. In theory, you could manage your herds on public land, I think, to be just as good. But the private land ones are, like, already high quality, so your, you know, your starting point is already way better. Gotta get back to Call of the Wild and grind in rares again. It's been, like, a month. Sometimes that time off, though, is all you need to, like, really get back into it. I took way more than a month off of Great One Grinding, but when I finally came back to it, I hit bears and moose pretty hard, and we got them both in a matter of... I mean, in total since we were back a couple of months, but got both kills less than a week apart. I may have caused... Yeah, a two-star adult, that's not bad. Two star mature. This is chaos. Three star mature. I don't know why I thought I could run up to this lake, but. There's some decent stuff up here. Uh, do I want to go all the way back? I didn't realize there was a lake down there. Nah, let's let's keep on the, uh, the part of the map we're on. That's all rivers and stuff down there, though. Never mind. Oops. I want to check the big lakes before we get down into that. Uh, Big Game Hunter 2009? I played Dangerous Hunts 09. Was there a Big Game Hunter 2009? I remember, um... Big Game Hunter 2010. Apparently we also have elk on this map. We do. Do you have a dream gun or dream cartridge that you want to shoot IRL? Not really. Like... I'm usually... You know, I'm not one that... I want some, like, special gun. You... I'm... I'm this way with a lot of stuff. Almost like a pragmatist, I guess. I don't have a dream car. My dream car is one that reliably gets me from A to B. <laughs> like, I don't care what it necessarily looks like and stuff. The only reason I even drive, like, a semi-new truck is because, in theory, 
It's not always in practice with vehicles, but in theory, being relatively new should mean without too many issues. That said, one of my turn signals, one of the bulbs is already out. I mean, it's, what, the truck's four years old and it's got 40,000 miles on it? If it's never had a turn signal bulb changed, who knows? Should you gun this loaded? Ideally. When did you kill the Great One Moose? Yesterday live on stream. About, uh, I think an hour and a half in? We can just hear, I mean, there's stuff everywhere running around. I shouldn't be running, but I'm running. Any new rares? Melanistic Faladir. I kind of wish that it was a new species rare, but I do think Melanistic Fallow will look pretty cool, so I can't complain. <laughs> All right, we'll slow down as we get close. And then there's one more lake down here, and then we may... I don't know if I'm going to bother with the river creek thing right now. I'm just going to spook everything. I just kind of know how that goes. Got a five-star sandbar. Was it the mission one? Yeah, that, uh, unfortunately that'll happen, David. My, my 2016 F-150 that, you know, a tree fell on, that thing, it was as close to brand new for, uh, whatever it was at the time, like, six-year-old truck as you could get. I think it had, like, 25-odd thousand miles, um, like, spotless inside, and then, like, not a scratch or anything on the outside, like, it was beautiful. And I preferred the exterior on that one. But, I didn't take, I don't even know what it, I never did figure it out because I started having the issue and then it, you know, tr tree fell on it. So I never had to get it fixed, but I started having an issue where either the tires got out of alignment or something. It doesn't, there's so many quite literally moving parts. It doesn't take much to mess stuff up. Not the mission one. Ooh, nice. I think you might be the first one I've heard of that got a non-mission one. Speaking of sandbar. Is that like a elderly? Look how white that thing is. There's not rare for sandbar, but... That one looks good. Well, my fellow sandbar friends, I'm going to have to come up and visit you. There's a goat right there. That needs to die. Before we blast it, I do want to see the far side. Yep. Got a whole bunch of uh, red deer that do not look special. Oh. Hi. Whole bunch of them. Two star mature. I still think that one star is going to end up being be in it. Uh, I guess we fire away. Imagine an Australia map and wave hunter. I certainly think they could pull it off. <sighs> Approaching those is going to be weird because we're almost going to be better getting way up above them, but that's just going to take 12 years. So hopefully we can just get close enough to spot because that one, I feel like that's a three star at worst. Apparently, I don't know if it's, like, intended, Raphael, but, um, that does happen. I don't know if it's a bug where they spawn or if it's supposed to just be insanely rare. I don't think we ever got clarification on, like, whether it's supposed to happen or not, but they do. Apparently, you can get a moose on, um, on Tail Roa. The non-mission moose. Where's the Red Deer, New Zealand? Seems like they're in a bunch of spots, but the best area that we've had so far is like right around here. So there's, I think this is private land, like this kind of top right corner. Bunch of herds in this area, a lot of big ones. We haven't had a five star yet. A couple of threes and fours though, so far. A 
on my Volvo. Finally, uh, kicked the bucket. Everything went at once. Front wheel bearings, front sway bar links, starter, rear, rear coil. That was hard for me to say. Rear coil springs and fuel pump all at once. My 06 F-150 was kind of getting like that. <laughs> it, one problem would happen, and then about the time you, you, know, you deal with that for a while, and then you think, I got to get that fixed. About the time you do, something else happens. 250,000 miles is a, is a pretty good run, though. Or drive. That's the same ones. We already saw those. 68% is a one-star mature, so it must have just hit mature. Intriguing. And then those sandbar are close enough to spot, but can we see them? First stream I've ever made it to. Love your content. Well, glad you can make it in, man. Should be going for a little while yet. Hopefully we can uh, find some more big males. So is that the one we were looking at? Three-star mature? He's like young mature, clearly, though. Yeah, I think that's the one. Are they looking at us now? No. I wanted the spot, because there, there was that really light-colored one. That one, maybe. Just right behind that tree. So, Guinea found a screenshot on the scene. Have you seen those? Yeah, we've seen a fair few. Haven't shot any of them. Like, that one's not even bad. I don't want to shoot that until I'm sure that it's not a young. It looks gray like it's really old, but if I'm wrong, that's a really big one. Or a future really big one. And I have, I just simply haven't shot enough sandbar to know. That looks good though. I love the color of them. Oh, that's a young and that's a lighter color. Yeah, I bet you that's a younger deer then. Old sandbar, darker. Yeah, I was, I was kind of thinking that would make sense. One star young. God, that's gonna, that might be a five star. He's big. I don't know how well you could see it. But like, he has the, f stupid trees, he has the full frame. Assuming that's the one that I just spotted, which I think it is. Take like two more steps, dude. See that, like he's already a six point. Let's confirm. Oh, that's a two-star adult, so there are several. Either way, though, that's good, too. All right, I don't think we messed with that herd. Uh, there's a lake down here I wanted to get to. And then, I guess we'll decide from there. Just ruined my day. Wow, Mel. <laughs> Shot my first great one the other day. Nice, man. Congrats. Wish we got some new waterfowl species. Honestly, I do feel like we could have used them. But we were talking about it before. Like, way the hunters small game waterfowl, all that, they're just there. Like, they're cool to shoot and stuff, but they, unfortunately, they don't add much to the map or to the experience. I wish they did, but they don't. I want duck calls and decoys away in the I think it'd be awesome because they're mallard models. I mean, we would need duck call. I mean, we do have the duck call, but it's kind of weird. Duck calls, decoys, but then, like, the flight patterns and everything need completely redone. Should I get Wade Hunter? I would say it's down to a matter of personal preference. It's slower pace, like if you're familiar with Hunter Call of the Wild. It's slower pace for sure. Once you get the hang of it though, it can be, it can be a lot faster. Like you find a lot more animals, you find a lot more trophies and stuff. But it takes time. Need turkeys in the way of the hunter. I would be really intrigued to see how they would do turkeys. 
Because they need to be not like guinea fowl where you walk right up to them. Just went back to watch the great one. That's so awesome. Congrats on the kill. Thank you, man. I'm really glad we finally got one on stream. It only took five. And we were streaming from the beginning. Like, I remember we did a, quite a few streams grinding kind of Whitetail. Obviously, Red Deer, we, we streamed a bunch. Fallow, we probably streamed the most. And then Bear and Moose, a huge percentage of Moose, but a lot of Bears, too, were all, all done on stream. But finally, the actual Great One showed up on stream. The bird species are so dumb. Yeah, they're not the brightest animals in this game. Not the brightest crayons in the box. Dang it. Okay, we know there's something over there, though, so let's just not worry about whatever we spooked. You think you'll do another Great One grind for a different fur variation? Nah. I, I don't have much desire to get multiple fur variations. I'm really happy with the one we got. So that definitely helps. But even if I didn't like the one we got, I don't think I'd do another grind. Plus your sucks, so. Yeah, I don't have good luck. Those are all really small sandbar. Holy, there's 500 of them, though. So there's a tower over there that may be worth attempting to uh, get to. I just don't know if we're going to get too close and spook stuff. I'm tempted to, like, slap a tripod right here. Was beginning to think the Great One Black Bear was the members we made along the way? Uh, yeah, I was too. That It just... You know, grinding them at night definitely sucked. But it was the... I think it had it started that way. Like, you know, if Black Bear didn't drink in the daylight on Silver Ridge Peaks for uh, a couple years, it would have been different. But when you had that experience hunting in the daylight and then it switches, it's just miserable. Until you finally figure it out, which, to be fair, Kyla figured it out and then I just did the same thing. I'm retiring from grinding till the next great one. Just call me Brett Favre. Eh, don't. Call me Tom Brady. I don't steal from welfare. Don't sue me, Brett. Allegedly. Couple of stags. Ooh. Two star adult. We'll just chill here a minute. We'll let those, uh, Red Deer get out of the way. The only way we can mess this up is if we spook them and if they run down past the tar. <clears throat> and Mel just keeps getting more if she's trying or not. I mean, Mel is one of the few people that's gotten one in multiplayer. Great ones definitely just like her. Well, Moose didn't for a while. I like how just like almost roly poly they look in the distance. To be honest, now that we've seen them all, we don't need to worry about waiting. We could just blast that one. Do they have a stumbling animation? They don't really do that, huh? They just kind of run until they fall. That might explain why I keep on shooting them 500 times. And dead. It did slow down, but it didn't stumble. I might leave this, because anytime we approach the lake from this direction, we kind of need it. Tar are a bit chong from a distance? Indeed. I make them like me. I just pray that one will like me a little bit. Whatever weird name Mel calls them. Chucky Pigs? What's wrong with Chucky Pigs? Grind any great one using a feed zone. I'm not enough of a grinder to even consider doing that. <laughs> Recently bought a PS5 and every time I load on multiplayer, it says fail to synchronize. Honestly, multiplayer is just a mess in Call of the Wild. 
failed to synchronize, uh, disconnects, could not connect to host. It just happens all the time. Small. Okay, since we're fast traveling anyway, let's go and put our albino chamois in the lodge. Just slowly fill in a couple of spots. I gotta remember too, we have like four four stars to check on. I gotta record for tomorrow yet, later today, so surely I can keep it in my head for that long. No way. There's feral goat, tar, and Sika all on hind legs. I wanted a chamois on his hind legs. Dang. Anyway, hopefully I can remember long enough to uh to go and check those spots. There's probably a really cool red deer mount. Ah, uh, see, this is what I wanted though. Ooh. That's the one right there. That is the one. Easy choice. That's gonna be, I love that. Shammy and Tar, and we have a bunch of four stars, so. One of them's gotta make it, whether they like it or not. Five star white tail back there, albino chamois. It's just a really, I'd want that in my house. Anyway. Um. I bet you we missed out on a campsite. Right there. Let's see if we can go and get that. Usually the end of a road, if there's a question mark, it's a campsite. Not always. But pretty pretty likely. Think it's cool we can make partial mounts? Oh, same, dude. I'd, I'd never get anything done in my lodges. It would take so much longer to ever actually display things. And I guess you could do like the individual mount and then take it back down, but then that cost you twice as much. Why a bear picture? I mean, you know, I have a picture of a, or a painting of an elk in my living room. There are elk in PA, but I don't think it has to be, you know, something necessarily that's in the area that you're hunting. Have we seen all these? So many. Like, it's impossible to spot everything. And there's a whole bunch over there yet. Hello? Four star? Okay. Uh... I think, I think that's that same four star because there's a four star, uh, oh, three star too. There's a four star chamois around here. Well, that should die. I wasn't even trying to shoot things right now, but jeez, ah, was it that one? I think. Yes. I'd have been really mad if I shot the five star or four star by accident. I don't know if that was a spine shot, but that's what I was going for. Just got Whale Hunter, awesome game, always relaxing, indeed. It's a good chill game. I mean, we've been streaming for three and a half hours, just straight vibing this entire time. It does help when, you know, a new map comes out, you get to explore and all that. Whitetail deer, I need that tar zone for sure. That's a rarely zone, though. There's probably multiple. That was just a long shot, shot underneath the spine. You're still alive? Still breathing, yep. I know you wanted me to pass away, but still here. All right, maybe it's just a rarely zone. It, that might be tough to find them again, but. I mean, in theory, you make it their drink time. There's only so many places they can be. What was I even doing? I was going to get what I think is a campsite. Can you set up multiple tripods? Yep. Um, do they show on the map? I've got one there. Got one there. Uh, I think I took the other ones down. You can carry, you carry 10 at a time, which is kind of like, that's one of those things where you sacrifice realism for the sake of, I guess, convenience. Whoop. Cause like, yeah, could you carry 10 tripods on a hunt? No. Do I want to be able to set up my map 
without taking nine hours going back and forth grabbing one tripod at a time? I do want to be able to do that. Is Mata Materiaki better than Teo Woo Woo? Uh, <laughs> I like the like the species roster and stuff better. I'm unwilling to say that until I get to hunt the map for longer. Two star mature, one star adult. Ooh, hello. He's pretty wide set though. And not dark, which I think is good. Okay, if you're gonna be that confused, I'm definitely shooting you. Wrong gun, which kind of sucks, but I don't see blood. Oh, that headshot was almost there. He's pink blood. He doesn't look too big for a one-star adult. The thing is, if he's not dead yet... Eh, since I shot him twice, he might be. But in theory, he's never gonna... Like, he's gonna keep getting back up. There's blood there. Oh, he just fell. Are you dead? Nope. <laughs> oh, lucky. That wasn't even worth the time. It's not gonna go back up there. Ah, never mind. That was fine. Now that was 79%. Okay, shouldn't have shot that. Whoops. Anyway, we almost made it to campsite. Return to center. Uh, where are we at here? Got any tips for a good hunt in this game? I mean, I would generally say, like, trying to find zones and hunting near water, kind of like Call of the Wild is a good idea. I'd really love to be able to pick up blood tracks while riding an ATV. Honestly, I don't see why you can't. Like, I, a little bit I do, but... Is anybody really, like, gonna be speeding through the game so much? Yeah, this must be a campsite. Uh, that, you know, they're always tracking on an ATV? Cool. Okay, so we got that. I don't even know what to do, like, last. Because we're... Pretty much at the point where we're going to be wrapping up. Uh, let's check. I want to look at this spot again. Because there's a herd of red deer that had a three-star mature. And I'm curious if that four-star that we spotted was him or not. If we rest to red deer drink time, we can check that. And then we'll probably wrap up with our first two New Zealand trophies having been taken on stream. Render distance in this game? Uh, it's around a kilometer. That ragdoll had me snarfing into my drink. It was, that was a pretty good one, I'm not gonna lie. You know what, just for the sake of it, let me fast travel away and come back. Because we were so close to potentially where those red deer would be. When we change the time, that could mess with stuff. Not always, but long tracks, it would be nice. Can't disagree. It's so wild to me that you can kill road or roadkill animals in a game and call the wild you have to you hit a rabbit and you go fly. <laughs> you guys seem to be flying kinda low there. Oh, a five star. I think they all just landed over there. Maybe I should get like the proper weapon for once. I'm not gonna get a shotgun, I'm definitely gonna get a twenty two. Any five stars, we killed a five star whitetail, we killed a two star albino chamois, and we just saw a five star duck. What private's better for red deer? It seems like this side. I had some okay ones up there, but way more big ones on this side. And Mel, who has played this way more than me, was also saying this side's better. How did I... 
Okay. I didn't want it in slot one, but that's fine. Does this DLC come with a story? Yes. I have not played the story yet. I'll save it for probably like not next Monday stream, but the Monday after. We usually do story missions, whether it's Call of the Wild or Way the Hunter. We usually do those on streams. Um, but I like to... I like to wait so that anybody that wants to play the story and not have it spoiled can do it before I stream it. Of course it's a white tail and a duck, right? My first Aurora Shores 5 star was a duck. Wah, wah, wah. Accuracy by volume. Which of you is the five star? There you are. Just make sure there weren't two. Seems unlikely there were two. 120 yards. Nope, not that gun. I think we can hit him in the head. I don't know if I trust myself to be that accurate. Nope. <laughs> Look at the arc on that, it's insane. Did he just ninja dodge that? It is hard to even... This is... Try to shoot like a... Fighter jet pilot. It's the back one. Just like you drew it up. Accuracy by boy. <laughs> I meant to do that. Skill issue. Think that's the wrong one? Nah, I'm fairly confident that was it. Y you could be right. Skill issue. It's dead, isn't it? Skill issue. How dare you. Volley fire with a shotgun. If it doesn't work, switch guns. Turns out we were volley firing with the 22. Beautiful shot. Right up under the wing. Almost hard shot it. 97% five star wild duck. 491, not bad. Three trophies for the lodge. Okay, now for real, we'll go and check on the red deer. Hashtag first try. You guys didn't see any of the other 13 shots I took, did you? What's up, I blast deer? If the five star was the one standing behind that, that would have been really unfortunate. I'm never using the 22 on a duck again though, because the arc on that was just horrid to deal with. Like literally aiming high at 100 meters was, or yards was not worth it. How you like the new map? I'm enjoying it so far. We have killed more trophies than I would probably expect for opening day. Um, we've had a five star whitetail, a five star duck, and a two star albino chamois. But at the same time, when you get a brand new map, there are going to be some good things out there. And we've been uh, rather exploratory. Why are they called wild ducks and not mallards? I have no idea. I've never really liked that. You know, I meant to switch to the Styre SM12. I don't really think we're going to kill any red deer. We're just looking. I know, Shadow. We're almost done. Did I miss a five-star tar yet? No. We have like three or four four-stars on our map, though. You did miss a five-star duck if you didn't catch that a minute ago. Time to go to Layton. You know, that is what we did at the end of the last stream. I don't get it. These red deer were here every time. And now... So maybe that was them. They were like right down here but what happened was we were running and as soon as they spawned in they spooked but it's past nine they should definitely be in their zones because they go early Ooh. the zone I got for this spot for red deer are both rarely oh maybe I just first found them in a rarely zone then maybe they do just like the creek better that's fine with me I honestly literally the only reason we went over there was to try to confirm yeah he's a three star now um just if the one red deer we were looking at was the one basically that I thought it was 
So since that's a three, that other four that was over here then almost certainly is uh, the three star that we spotted, like the first big one we saw in today's video. Those ones spooked, but that's okay. We might smoke a fallow deer if they don't show up, because I, I do now feel pretty confident that's the same red deer. Hello from Italy. Welcome into the stream, man. Appreciate you stopping in. What do ducks eat with their soup? Quackers? Well. <laughs> Alright. Uh, two star mature? Yeah, you can. You can get the smoke. That would be the smoke. Have you seen the mellow, mellow fallow? I have not. I know they're in the game, but I haven't actually seen any screenshots. <sighs> How many sleep cycles in game does it take to progress your herd growth? So it's three in-game days, but you can't just spam sleep. Meaning, you know, if you went back to the lodge, let's say, I mean, what time is it? It's 9 a.m. You can only sleep for 23 hours in this game. So if you slept eight and then another 20, 23 hours immediately to seven and another 23 immediately to six, that wouldn't pass an age cycle. You have to play for some amount of time. They haven't specified so that you can't just play for the minimum and then rest. But in my experience, if you even play 15 minutes and then rest, that will work. So let's say uh, you rest, you play for 15 minutes, you rest, play for 15 more minutes, rest that third rest to a third new day will pass one in-game year. 70%, that guy's been a two-star mature for a while. Bigger than I thought, but we should quit just uh, shooting stuff willy nilly. Anyway, we shall add our duck to the lodge, and that will probably wrap this stream up. Smoke to five star muley, nice. <laughs> All right. I like that there's not a million small plaques like in the main room. I think we'll just slap him right here. So now we have Albino Shammy. Two star red dude that eventually is going to come down, but I wanted to put him in the lodge. Five star duck. Five star whitetail. We still have yet to get a new species trophy. <laughs> but we do have three legit trophies and one red dude that needs to replace in the lodge. Anyway. I do think that's going to do it for this stream. That was a good time. We were three hours, almost four hours. Got to see a good chunk of the map. Couple of, what, like three or four, four stars? Maybe five counting the red deer? Like a lot of stuff I gotta remember to check on. And the current plan, assuming nothing changes, is a similar structure but in reverse tomorrow. So, today we had a, a video, like an early video, then a stream. Tomorrow we'll probably try to do like an early-ish stream, not like, maybe not as early. I don't know, 12 or 1. And then a video at the regular time, 5 p.m. So there will, be, there will be a video and a stream tomorrow as well, but uh, not quite as early. So anyway, I think that one's going to do it for this stream. As always, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you in tomorrow's video and stream. Bye.